can support us, completed novel house in link below clip. Thank you for come in and love the sharing story, chapter 861, Fan you. The old well behind the field is the school's loophole, and the headmaster said that this is a wound that can't heal. If the entire school is compared to a person's heart, this well is the place where the deepest secret is buried. Chen Gu was suddenly reminded of a detail. Sir, you said that the school of the afterlife is made up of the memories of countless students, and the reason Mu Yang High School showed up here is because there was a student at that school who was bullied, yes? Yes. The old headmaster did not seem willing to answer that question. Can you tell me more about the student? Chen Gu knew that the old headmaster did not wish to bring up that past, but every clue related to that kid from Mu Yang High School would be very crucial. The only loophole in the school of the afterlife was in Mu Yang High School's ruined campus. There was another detail worth noting all the buildings in the school of the afterlife were arranged randomly, but Mu Yang High School was placed at the fringe, the closest to the blood red city. I don't really know the details. I only know that the child's name was Fan Yu. His adopted father was our school's teacher. He used to teach in the city, but for some reason, he was blackballed by the industry, and it was us who accepted him. The headmaster's words rocked Chin Ji's memory. Fan Yu? The kid was once a student at Mu Yang High School? Yes, Mu Yang High School might have been small, but we offered primary and secondary school classes. The old headmaster smiled sadly. That was something we were forced to do. The countryside has no primary schools, and the children I adopted and the children of the nearby families had nowhere to attend school, so I set up a primary school class. That is not important. Chen Go moved his body upward little by little. How long has Fan Yu spent at Mu Yang High School? Why did he leave? It was because of his adopted father that Fan Yu enrolled at our school, he was our teacher. At the time, Fan Yu was still too young to attend primary school, but under his father's insistence, we arranged for him to follow primary one class. The old headmaster remembered what happened then. This was where the headmaster was different from other specters, most specters could only remember their hatred. After a few months, Fan Yu could not keep up with the rest of his class. The child was very clever and talented, but his talent showed only in painting. The headmaster had a clear memory of this. The child was a master painter, he could be seen as a genius. At the beginning, the adopted father had nothing against his hobby, but one day, the child drew the face of a person in class, and that caused his father to explode. According to the other students, the father tore up his painting on the spot and gave the child a few harsh slaps. Naturally, it caused a huge commotion, and it was me and a female teacher who pulled him back. If he was just drawing in class and not paying attention, his father wouldn't have been so furious. Chengu was sharp. Perhaps it was the painting that had angered his father. Sir, do you remember what he drew? The painting was torn up, but I heard from his deskmate that when Fan Yu was drawing the painting, he borrowed his red crayon. He said that his own red crayon had run out. The old headmaster tried his best to think, but he could not remember what Fan Yu had drawn. Red crayon? Chen Ji's eyes narrowed. To be able to finish all of his red crayon and have to borrow one from his deskmate, that proves that the painting used a lot of red. His expression turned serious. Chin Goat slowly turned to look at the headmaster and pointed at the blood fog around them. Just now, you said that Fan Yu is a talented painter. Then think about it, what kind of painting was he doing that required so much red? Initially, the old headmaster did not think much of it, but being reminded by Chin Go, it hit him. A murder scene? That's very likely. Chenga slowed down. That would explain why his adopted father was so angry. I suspect that the killer was Fan Yu's adopted father. The situation was more complicated than Chenga thought. Chenga had thought that Fan Yu's adopted father had only killed Fan Yu's mother, but it looked like things were not that simple, his father might have been a complete psycho. In the morning, he was a respected teacher, but at night, 
he was a crazed murderer who could not control himself. That is weirdly sensible. Only someone like that would draw all those eyes in one of Mu Yang High School's toilet cubicles to use it to spy on his students. I underestimated the man's evilness. After giving it some thought, Chinga realized that Fan Yu's experience was far more painful than he had thought. Fan Yu's aunt's sister disappeared without reason, but they wandered Mu Yang High School after their death. Could their death be related to Fan Yu's adopted father? Chingu revealed Fan Yu's father's real persona to the headmaster. The headmaster's eyes were flushed with red. I thought that Fan Yu was merely bullied at school, I had no idea that it was so serious. One cannot judge a book by its cover. The man kept it very well hidden, or else he would have been discovered already. Chingu had new perspective on this. Sir, before Fan Yu left the school, did he do anything strange? I wasn't paying attention. Because Fan Yu was in his adopted father's class, I didn't think his father would do anything to him, so I didn't ask. Oh, but there was something strange. Fan Yu always came to school with wounds on him. His adopted father told me that Fan Yu liked to get into fights due to his personality. The headmaster was deep in guilt. Now that I think about it, they were probably the work of his father. That's all? Fan Yu was isolated in class. For some reason, no one wanted to be his friend. His adopted father forbade him from drawing, and whenever he did, the father would beat and scold him. The child turned into a different person in a few short months. The headmaster could not bear to continue. This was my fault. At the time, the school was targeted by the authorities, and I had to go to places to solve that. I was rarely at school and missed out on many things. Even if you asked him, Fan Yu probably wouldn't tell you anything because, no matter what, he still needed to go home. It was not that he didn't wish to tell you, but he couldn't. When other students were bullied at school, at least they can tell their parents. For him, after being bullied at school, he would have to go home to face his adopted father. Chin Ji's heart went out to Fan Yu and it confirmed his desire to take care of the child. Then another question popped up in his mind. If it was because of Fan Yu that Mu Yang High School appeared in the School of the Afterlife, then Fan Yu must have entered the School of the Afterlife before. But the reality is that Fan Yu is now being taken care at Jiu Jiang Children's Home. He hasn't left the place. Ching narrowed his eyes, and many things that he had experienced now flashed through his mind. He had a good relationship with Fan Yu and had seen his art. The current Fan Yu had no talent in painting at all. All of his paintings had crude lines, no different from other kindergartners. This skill cannot be called a genius at all, or is Fan Yu's situation similar to that of Li Xuan? His despairing side has entered the school of the afterlife, and only an empty self is left in real life. His brain was struck by lightning, and Chin Ge bit on his tongue. He realized that someone had noticed the uniqueness about Fan Yu before he did. After the end of the Coffin Village's trial mission, the ghost in the well who had been in existence for 100 years gifted a bangle to Fan Yu. The greater red specter had refused to entertain anyone, but she had been kind toward Fan Yu. It was as if she had purposely approached him to leave a good impression. When she possessed the girl's body and was sent to the children's home. There were so many children there, but she targeted Fan Yu. She stayed by Fan Yu's side. The old ginger is the spiciest. I should have noticed this a long time ago. Climbing out from the old well, Chin Gu could no longer see the water at the bottom. Thinking about Fan Yu, he was reminded of the mirrored campuses created by the painter. One was eerie and despairing, the other side was peaceful and nice. Chapter 862, Chin Ji's planned flashes of the past appeared in Chin Ji's mind, and the many coincidences now appeared to be linked together. They might not have been as coincidental as Chin Gu had previously thought. Chang Wenyu and the painter, who should I help? When he first obtained the black phone, Chin Gu had made a choice, and that choice had changed his life, giving him the right to find the truth. Even though School of the Afterlife is a four-star scenario, there is no door pressure. 
There must be plenty who have their eyes on this piece of meat. At first, Chen Go had treated the doors as some kind of burden, but under Dr. Gao's influence and teaching, he had slowly come to understand the door's importance. If used well, the doors could do many things. Viewed from this angle, Dr. Gao was both Chen Ji's enemy and guide. Dr. Gao wanted to absorb Chen Gu into the Ghost Story Society and make Chen Gu his assistant, that was a fair plan, but there were too many accidents during the process. Even though, in the end, Chen Gu did join the society, by then, he was the only member left. If Fan Yu is really the painter, this will be very interesting. Chen Gu did not hate the painter. He did not have a good impression of him, he merely thought that the painter was different than any of the other red specters that he had met. There were so many powerful specters and ghosts behind the door, but the painter was the only specter who wished to use his own power to change the world behind the door. This idea was crazy. Some specters wanted revenge, others wanted rebirth, but the painter was different. He did not wish to return to the real world, instead wishing to create a different reality behind the door. If he succeeded, the line between the world behind the door and the real world would become even blurrier. Chen Ge had no idea what that meant, only thinking that would be very dangerous. There are too many people who have their eyes on the school of the afterlife. The blood-red city that is expanding, the cursed hospital that is seen everywhere, and not to mention Chang Wenyu. If he wishes to succeed in this condition, he will need the help of a powerful greater red specter. Chen Ji's heart skipped a beat when this thought crossed his mind. If Zhang Ye becomes a greater red specter, does that mean I can help him complete his wish? Shaking his head, Chen Gu soon vetoed this idea. The more chaotic the school was, the better it was for him. I am friends with Xiao Fan outside the door, but I have had no interaction with the painter inside the door. Even if I help him, he might not appreciate the help. If anything, he might harm me after the fact. Chinga knew that the Fan Yu outside the door was an innocent child, but he was very cautious toward the painter inside the door. After he completed the trial mission at Muyang High School, the police had come to the scene and dug up Fan Yu's parents' bodies from inside the well. Then, Fan Yu's aunt had been swift to admit that she had killed Fan Yu's adopted father. She had claimed that it was an accident. She had wanted to stop tragedy from happening but failed. There was a giant loophole in her claim. She was just a fragile woman, so how did she accidentally kill a murderer who was extremely experienced? The police at the time had thought that it was a strange claim as well, but other than Fan Yu's aunt, there were no other survivors who were related to this case, so in the end, they had to accept her claim, ending the case that had happened years prior. Now that he thought about it, however, there was another surviving victim of this case, and that was Fan Yu. The deepest secret on his heart is hidden in this well. Perhaps it was then that he entered the door. Chen Gu would never forget Fan Yu because he was his haunted house's first special visitor. The old headmaster knew about the fact that Fan Yu entered the school and knew that Mu Yang High School's appearance in the School of the Afterlife is due to Fan Yu's memory. He would not have found out all that alone, so the biggest possibility is that someone told him about this. At the place, the only people who would help the old headmaster are my parents. First Dean Hong and then Fan Yu. Are they trying to tell me something through the old headmaster? Chen Gu could not guess his parents' thoughts. Are they trying to tell me something through my interaction with In Hong and Fan Yu? After this mission is over, the ghost fetus might come to find me. I don't have much time left. Is it because they are worried about me and wish for me to know about the fetus weakness through the painter? After all, the ghost fetus is my shadow, and in a way, he is my darker self. After knowing certain things, Chen Gu slowly calmed down. He pulled the headmaster out from the well. We will go back to the school. Okay. The only escape had become a dead end, but the headmaster felt lucky in a way. Thankfully, you found me, or else I really wouldn't know how to leave. There's no need for that. Chen Gu led the old headmaster and retraced their steps. When they removed the wooden plank, there was a small accident. 
The blood sun that covered the school kept dropping, and it dispersed the blood fog around Chen Ge and almost discovered them. Returning safely to the school, Chen Ge took out the tools to pin the boards back up. That way, it would be hard to tell that someone had tampered with the school. Where should we go next? Are you trying to get the school's approval? The old headmaster took In Hong's hand and followed behind Chen Gu. In Bai looked at the headmaster innocently, as if wondering what kind of mistake she had made. Other than myself, you also need to get the school's approval. Chen Ji's reply stunned the old headmaster. Me? Why? You are the key to everything, Chen Gu said seriously. Even though the school has consumed many souls, it was because it wished to provide a home for these despairing children. Currently, this home is very chaotic as it lacks a qualified manager. The headmaster nodded subconsciously. Yes, the world behind a door that has lost control is very scary. Chen Gu did not pick up on what the headmaster said but continued on his own. From how I see it, no one is more suitable to manage this school than you. Me? The old headmaster, who was lamenting the state of the school, was baffled, and he quickly shook his hands. Stop kidding. Don't hurry to deny it. We can talk about this after gaining the school's approval. Chen Ge looked confident. Fine, what is your plan? The old headmaster could only follow Chen Ge, he had no other choice. Simple, In Hong has lived here for so long, so she should know who people normally shy from. Later, we'll bulldoze over all of them. Chen Gu looked at the headmaster with a smile. I will be the bad cop, and you'll be the good cop. I'll use force to correct force, and you only need to be yourself. Chapter 863 My way of salvation I only need to be myself? The old headmaster felt that Chen Ji's plan was not that reliable. Rather than a plan, it was more like a direct taunt. He had been an honest man his whole life, a man of charity, so it was natural that he felt awkward about this plan. Yes, do what you wish to do and say what you wish to say, there shan't be any hesitation. Chinga opened his backpack to look for tools. We cannot give up on any child, so I will be the bad guy this time. We will make them know their mistake physically and then rescue them psychologically. Chen Gu was all prepared. He had been meaning to do since the beginning. In Hong, can you help me with one thing? Chen Gu squatted down before In Hong. You have been living here for so long, so you should know where the scary places and people at the school are, right? Why would you ask me? In Hong's cute brows frowned. Because you are a scary student yourself. At least, that is how your classmates see you. They seem to be afraid of you. I. In Hong glared heavily at Chen Gu. She was powerless before him. There are indeed many ghosts and mad people at this school. If you wish to seek death, I will take you to them. We have limited time, so we'll start with the bad students. Since the staff won't take care of them, we will. Chen Gu was firm, but In Hong regarded him with condescension. Even if you punish those students, there will be new students to replace them unless you plan to stay at this place and repeat that forever. But have you considered that if you really do that, will you be any different from the bullies themselves? In Hong appeared like she knew some hidden secrets about this school. Other than the small number of students whose memory was sealed, most of the bullies here were once victims. In the world behind the door, their consciousness has been altered by the school. They are not bullying, but venting. Because of that, the school staff ignore most of their actions. This is permitted by the school's consciousness, so how dare they intervene? It's permitted by the school's consciousness? Isn't the school's consciousness a collection consciousnesses? Does it know how to speak? Chen Gu kind of understood why the staff would ignore the bullying, they did not want to get involved. Even though it is not stated explicitly by the school's consciousness, it is the public consensus. I'm afraid that is not the case. The school of the afterlife has been in existence for years already, and it hasn't selected a new door pusher. That is probably because you guys have misinterpreted its real purpose. Chen Gu had been through many dark experiences himself, but he had never surrendered himself to them. 
even when he was hiding in the darkest spot of the night, he would be anticipating the arrival of dawn. It wasn't the school's consciousness that altered those children, but the children themselves. Hatred and resentment were evoked by negative emotions, and they became their most hated self. Chenga sighed lightly. Before this, I had some hesitation, but after hearing what you've said, my desire to help them has increased. Bullying those weaker will never lead to salvation, it'll only make them sink deeper. I agree with that. The headmaster suddenly spoke. His eyes that fell on Chen Gu were shining with approval. We have limited time, let's go. The mission given to Chen Gu by Chang Wenyu was to find all the specters who had the qualifications to become door pushers. Chen Gu planned to do go one step further, he planned to pull all those people to his side. Chang Wenyu and the painter were fighting for the control of the school's consciousness, but Chen Gu placed his target on the students themselves. The school's consciousness is made up of the collective consciousness of the numerous students. In other words, any of the students could affect the final result. This one thing, the painter has done right, but his method of providing another false reality is no different from giving up on most of the students with heavy resentment. After walking for several minutes toward the center of the school, In Hong stopped outside one of the classrooms. She pointed at the door. The teachers normally don't come here. Whether you wish to enter or not, it's on you. The wall outside the classroom looked normal, but there was a white piece of paper pasted on the glass window. It had uneven handwriting on it, preparing for the test, please do not disturb. It feels normal. Right after Chinga said that, there was a loud boom inside the room. It sounded like someone had been shoved, and a table had been toppled. Are they fighting? The paper blocked most of the window. Chen Gu tried to look through the gap before turning back to tell the old headmaster. Sir, you come in later. How long should I wait? The headmaster had no idea what Chen Gu was up to, but he was worried. Gauge the situation yourself. As long as their soul is still intact. Before the headmaster understood Chen Gu, the latter summoned Su Yin and the headless woman. In Hong, give me some help. Without waiting for the agreement from In Hong, Chen Gu kicked the door down. Bang! The glass on the door was shattered, and the paper fell with the splinters. Is someone in? Chen Gu stepped on the papers as he walked into the room. There were seven male students in the room who were playing cards, and another three were punching a student wearing a taekwondo outfit in the corner. Once he entered the room, everyone stopped what they were doing to look at him. In Hong, did they bully you? Chen Gu picked up In Hong's small hand and pulled the girl who planned to witness the show outside into the room. The girl's gleeful smirk froze on her face. Don't be scared. With your big brother here, no one will bully you again. Chen Gu pinched In Hong's cheek. Due to anger, not only her face, even her eyes were red. F asterisk CK, what is wrong with you? The students who were playing cards stood up. One of them was about 1.9 meters tall, and he looked muscular. All this while, it had been them bullying others, they did not expect someone to voluntarily walk into their den. Blood stains that gave out a great stench appeared on the tallest student's shirt. A half-red specter? No wonder the teachers refused to come here. It was as if Chen Gu could not see the anger on In Hong's face. He very naturally guarded her and said deeply, In Hong, with your big brother here, I will protect you. Then, the headless woman and Su Yin entered the room, and the scene turned incredibly gory. Chen Gu closed the door behind him and helped the beaten boy up. Are you all right? The boy was wearing practice use cushions over his arms, but his face was covered with wounds. The people did not aim at the cushions, but at his body. The boy was bullied until he did not dare speak. Finally, he looked at In Hong with envy and said softly, I'm fine. In Hong shivered from the boy's look. She wished to fling Chen Ji's hand away, but she was reminded of what Chen Gu had said. Even though she knew that was just acting, it felt strangely comforting. Chapter 864 Han Song, how could In Hong's current feeling toward Chen Gu be described? 
She wanted to hit him, but she did not dislike him. While In Hong was caught in this conundrum, Chinga had already taken her hand and started to talk with the boy who was bullied. Perhaps it was the cute In Hong who had lowered the student's alertness, or perhaps he realized that Chen Gu was scarier than the bullies in the classroom, but no matter the reason, his attitude toward Chen Gu was very kind. Why did they bully you? Chen Gu reached out to support the student in Taekwondo outfit. Don't hesitate to tell us anything. We wanted to start a Taekwondo club, but the school would not allow it, so we started one ourselves. Wait, so the club is having the other kids beat you up? Chinga felt like the child was not telling the truth. I am the training partner, that's how all the newcomers started. There were a few others, before me, they were unable to hold on, so it was my turn. As the student explained, his tear fell. His body was fragile, like his soul was about to disperse. Don't be so hard on him. In Hong walked out from behind Chen Gu. That big fellow is a red specter. She pulled on Chen Ji's shirt to signal him to walk toward the door to prevent him from falling into an accidental death. A red specter? Chen Gu had thought that the student was just a half red specter, he trusted In Yang vision too much. Yes, and he's a very scary red specter. A cute canine tooth showed when In Hong's lips curled into a smile. His name is Han Song, and he suffers from giantism. He has been gawked at since he was young, and everyone is afraid of him. Afterward, when people notice that he's not that clever and is an honest person, many boring people started to play pranks on him. Those people call themselves his friends, but in reality, they were merely ordering him around and treating him as a tool, or perhaps more like an animal. The saddest thing was all this happened at school, so his family had no idea. He was so happy to have found some friends, and his parents even invited his bullies to his home as guests. Then how did he enter the door? If it was just physical bullying, with his physical condition, he could have easily pushed back against those who bullied him. Olbai was worried about Chen Gu, so he followed them in. When he saw the half-red specter, he thought that he could take him down. This is the harshest form of bullying, emotional abuse. No one bullied him physically. They isolated him, verbally attacked him, and ostracized him, making him feel like a monster. Chen Gu was familiar with all that. There are worthless creatures who like to put others down to satisfy themselves. They are filled with malice. The more the kid wants to make others think that he is not a monster, the more they will make him feel that way. Yes, that was the type of bullying Han Song ran into. One time, they pushed him to the edge, and they got into an argument. As a result, Han Song was punished, it was Han Song who was injured, but the parents came at him madly. They wanted Han Song expelled because they felt like it was too dangerous for their students to be around someone who was so violent and dumb. There was a cold smirk on In Hong's lips. Her eyes were red like she was planning to destroy all life forms. And then what happened? The school did not punish anyone, but the emotional abuse on Han Song worsened. Their actions toward Han Song slowly crossed the line. Their school once had a taekwondo club. None of the other clubs were willing to accept Han Song, the taekwondo club was the only exception. But afraid of him acting out, they only gave him the role of a training partner or more precisely, a human punching bag. Han Song valued this chance a lot. But people refused to let him be and joined the club as well. You can imagine what happened next. In Hong pointed at the male student next to Chen Go. That was what he experienced, outside the door, he was bullied, but here, he became a bully. Why do you know so much about Han Song? Chen Go was curious. We came from the same school. In Hong did not continue. She seemed to have been reminded of something unhappy. Okay, I know what to do now. Chen Gu looked at the students in the room and took out the red high heels. Han Song probably thought that, by bullying others and instilling fear in them, no one would dare bully him again. What do you plan to do? In Hong always had trouble understanding Chen Gu. I wish to tell him that is a bad idea. Before Chinga finished, a roar echoed through the ground. 
Han Song, who had been pressed onto the ground earlier, slowly stood up with his hands on the wall. His coat was drenched in blood, and his body was expanding. A horrible stench filled the room, and worm-like wounds could be seen on his exposed skin. How did those wound from? I have no idea. I only know about what happened to him at school. Perhaps he ran into something else outside of school. This was the first time that In Hong had seen Han Song being pushed into such a corner. The reason he is behind the door probably has to do with his family. Chin Go looked at the maddened Han Song, and he was surprised. Facing the attacks from the headless woman and Suin, he did not get injured too much. The guy has a single attack style, but can sure take a beating. Chen Gu could not waste too much time there. He said something to the heels he was holding, but the heels did not react. He had no other option but to toss the heels right at Han Song. Big sister, please help. If I can't leave this place, you can't either. I give you a verbal promise now. If I can leave this school alive, I will give you freedom, and we will not owe each other anything. In Hong looked at Chen Go like he was dumb, but she did not expect what would happen next. The sound of heels clicking echoed in the room, and red footprints appeared on tables and chair before finally appearing on Han Song's body. Soon, the footprints turned into small black lines and crawled into Han Song's body. This was the curse that the heels was most familiar with. After consuming the ghost fetus curse, the heel's power seemed to have grown. The three red specters cooperated to pin Han Song down, but even until the stage of almost being dispersed, he refused to surrender. The color on his coat faded, and his actions slowed down. The red in Han Song's eyes slowly disappeared, he seemed to have seen his old self. Nothing had changed. The wounds on his body increased. Seeing as Han Song was about to be consumed by the three red specters, the door opened, and a fat old man rushed in. Stop. The headmaster's heart wrenched just from hearing the sounds from outside the door. After he came in, he was given a shock. Wherever he looked, there was red. Chin Gu signaled for them to stop and turned to the old headmaster. They bullied others first. When I came in, they were hitting that child. I did nothing wrong. Really? But I only see you bullying others. The old headmaster looked at the student on the floor. The student in taekwondo gear did not seem like he wanted to get into trouble, so he stammered through gibberish. Han Song was collapsed on the ground. The scene before his eyes felt familiar. Chapter 865, Teaching Methods Sir, these people were bullying other students, so I had to intervene. Chin Gu picked up the student by his collar. When I walked in, he was being punched by the few students. I was just helping him. But I only saw you beating them up. The old headmaster looked very angry, and disappointment was clear on his face. He walked to the student's side. The people lying on the floor were beating you earlier? We were just practicing with him. Shen Qing, you have to answer that. The bullies finally found a savior, and they pleaded loudly. The student in the taekwondo outfit's lips fell open, but he did not say anything. After a long time, it appeared like he had come to a decision. He pointed at the other students. They said every new member has to go through this process. When the first student was beaten up by them, I didn't say anything, and under their urging, I even delivered a few punches. When the second student was bullied, I still remained silent, but now it's my turn. Shen Qing was not scared into silence, he chose to tell the truth. I have made a mistake in the past, but I will not repeat that mistake. Everyone in the classroom stared at Shen Qing. He was very afraid. His shoulders and legs were shaking, and his voice was unnatural. Sir, you heard it yourself. They deserved it. I was not bullying them, I was merely helping the bullied students. Chen Go waved his hands and signaled for Su Yin and the headless woman to continue. Han Song, who was collapsed in the middle of the classroom, had wounds all over his body, and he looked like he was perishing. But strangely enough, the boy kept his eyes on Shen Qing. There were complicated emotions in his eyes. 
Things did not go as Han Song expected. When he was blamed, no one stood forth to help him. Even if he had protected others, they would not appreciate it but would stay away from him due to various reasons. Perhaps it's because I really am a monster. To give Han Song a memorable lesson, Chin Guk did not tell his employees to hold back. Being attacked by three red specters, it was surprising that Han Song could hold on for so long. His physical body wavered, and the blood on his shirt faded. The memory in his mind blurred, and his lingering spirit surfaced. His red eyes were filled with negative emotions, and there was no hope. I have turned into the type of person I hate the most, but it does not bring me happiness even though no one dares bully me anymore. The enlarged body slowly returned to normal, but the stench on his body did not disappear. If anything, it only thickened like the despair curled around his heart was slowly deepening. If only I was not a monster, people would not hate me, and dad would not have abandoned me. Something pressed down on his mind, and curses crawled over his body like snakes. The longer this carried on, the worse his situation got. Han Song wished to run, but all the exits had been blocked. He could feel his body slowly disappearing, his flesh being cut down little by little. I'm so tired. He felt an indescribable drowsiness come from everywhere. Just as he was about to close his eyes, an old man appeared before him. The old man was not tall, and his face looked kind, but his expression was serious. Chin Gu, perhaps you think that it doesn't matter if you kill him, but I wish for you to remember this, this child was once a victim. You hate school bullying, but using force to press down against force is not going to work, because one day you'll meet someone stronger than you. The old headmaster had probably guessed Chin Ji's plan before entering the door, but when he walked to Han Song's side, he was still shocked. Fights between red specters were much crueler than he had thought. He noticed that Chin Ji's red specters truly wanted to kill and consume the boy's heart. I will not allow you to do that. The old headmaster refused to budge. Actually, he had the wrong idea about Chin Gu. Of the three red specters, other than Su Yin, who would follow Chin Ji's orders, the other two were not under his control, and they would not listen to his orders. Sir, are you sure you want to help them? Human nature is kindness. Even in the darkest abyss, one can find a blooming flower. The headmaster looked at Chen Gu for a long time. Do you mind if I talk to him in private? But he's a red specter. I know. The old headmaster was a stubborn person. To prevent an accident from happening, Chen Gu had the red high heel stay back. Please leave. Right, have that lady pull the curse away. It's too dangerous. The old headmaster saw through Chin Ji's plan. He tossed Chin Gu a look to tell him not to worry. After everyone left, he personally closed the door. Chin Gu was worried about the headmaster. He leaned against the door to look through the gap. If any danger came to the headmaster, he would rush in immediately. Through the gap, Chin Gu saw the headmaster pick up Han Song and whisper something to him. Initially, he was the one speaking, but eventually, Han Song started to reply. They chatted for ten minutes before Han Song suddenly went berserk. Yet, the old headmaster did not run. He stood squarely before Han Song and raised his voice. Chen Gu heard the following terms outside the door, monster, parents, and so on. Han Song, who had gone mad, did not hurt the headmaster, and he followed the old man out of the classroom. The child has agreed to join us. He has already received enough punishment for his mistake. I hope you'll give him one more chance. The headmaster looked at Chen Gu with sincerity. Actually, he hates bullies more than we do, but he fell into a maze and found the wrong way out. Han Song, who stood behind the headmaster, was still afraid of Chen Gu. He stooped and lowered his head, trying to make himself look as small as he could. Sir, he's not one of us. The most appropriate way is to have him join us in another matter. Chen Gu pointed at Bai Chilin's stomach. He ignored Han Song. Since he was to portray the bad cop, he went all the way. Chen Gu, I'm begging you. 
since the headmaster said that, Chen Gug did not insist. He agreed with Han Song joining them and pulled the headmaster to the side. Sir, I'm curious, how did you persuade him? Can you talk me through the whole process? Chen Gu wished to lean from the headmaster. He would be able to use this skill of persuasion in the future. I can't tell you. He chose to trust me, so I have to keep his secret. The headmaster always treated others with sincerity. He had been tricked many times because of it, but that did not change his nature. After experiencing many things, he had finally found people who could understand him, and they had been accompanying and protecting him. But I still need to thank you. If you didn't beat some sense into him, my persuasion would have been pointless, but try to hold back a little next time. The headmaster was scared, too. If he had walked in a little bit later, Han Song would have departed already. I have my plan ready. All the students at this school are special, so I have to use special methods to educate them. I suppose you can call this modifying one's way of teaching to suit the special requirements of each class or case. Chen Gu stole a glance at Han Song. Find their goodness, but do not ignore their weakness. Then I will use my method to help them break through their mold and find a new path in life. Chapter 866 where have they gone? The actual method of educating based on cases was not to praise the good and ignore the bad but to face the problem head-on and come up with a suitable solution. Even though Chen Gu did not have any children, from a certain perspective, he was the leader of an entire haunted house. Using different methods of communication with different employees to elicit their greatest passion was an ability possessed by a successful boss. After the Taekwondo member and Han Song joined the club, Chen Ji's group grew larger. Sir, actually, I didn't plan to kill Han Song. I merely wanted him to feel the pain of the victim to evoke the memory of his past self. Chen Gu did not want there to be a misunderstanding between him and the headmaster. Our ultimate goal is to earn the school's approval, killing the students will obviously go against it. Other than the school's consciousness itself, the strongest specter here should be someone called the painter. He is a ghost with a clear goal. He used his power to turn the school into a heaven without any fighting, but he ran into trouble with another greater red specter. I have no idea what happened next, but those who offended or stood in the painter's way would have their memory wiped out. The painter didn't kill them? The headmaster cut straight to the point. Yes, even if those ghosts kept creating problems, the painter didn't kill them, Chingu whispered. Consuming red specters could greatly improve his own and his allies' power, it is impossible for the painter to not understand something as simple as that. So, it is not that he doesn't want to kill, but he cannot. Don't forget. Before the new door pusher appears, the real owner of this place is the school's consciousness. The painter is very powerful but he still needs to act within the school's limits. Why didn't you tell me that earlier? If I told you the truth, would you still have reacted the same way? When you came to save Han Song, you really wanted to help him without consideration for the consequences. This cannot be fate. I could see that, I believe that Han Song could see that as well. A smile hung on Chen Ji's lips. Sir, you are the kindest person I've ever met. I do not mean to lie to you, but I wish to do more, and some things in this world cannot be achieved with kindness alone. The smile on his face faded. Negative emotions and despair permeate the world behind the door, but these emotions come from outside the door. I have no idea how they appear here, but I know that if everyone was like you behind the door, the world behind the door would be a paradise. Turning to look out the window, Chingo looked at the thick blood fog. Perhaps that way, we might be able to see the stars in the sky. This was the first time that the headmaster had seen Chen Gu show an expression like that. Is there something on your mind? I would never tell this to others, you're the first one to hear it. Perhaps it's because you know my parents and I'm certain you will not harm me. Chen Gu and the headmaster walked at the front of the group. In such a big school, standing amid ghosts and specters, I am the only living person. Sometimes I am afraid, but I know that I cannot show that. I am just a normal person, but
but I am also the owner of a haunted house, the backbone of all my employees and the students we've found. If I lose my stability, everyone will panic, so I do not dare be afraid, do not even dare attempt to entertain the possibility of fear. When Chin Vis said that, the old headmaster took a good look at Chin Gu. If he was still alive, his grandson would probably be as old as Chin Gu. Chin Gu presented himself so powerfully that even the headmaster had forgotten the simplest issue, he was the only living person in a veritable hell. In this dark abyss, he was like a flickering candlelight, and the smallest wind could take him out. This should be difficult for him as well. These thoughts appeared in the headmaster's mind. If you wish to talk to someone in the future, feel free to come to me. I've lived for so long, even though there's nothing to my name, I am qualified enough to be a good listener. Thank you, Chinga said. Actually, I wish to know more about my parents. They haven't told me anything. Sir, can you describe them for me? I only know that they are a passionate couple. They did not ask for any compensation, but had helped me a lot. Based on what I heard, they helped many others in western Zhejiang. They would donate most of their income from their haunted house, and they have done far more than I do. The headmaster held Chin Ji's parents in high regard. Did they ever mention me? I wish to know how they looked at me. Chen Ge slowed down. He wanted to know what had happened between himself and his shadow. The headmaster did not answer instantly. After a long pause, he said, I've been to your home before, it was at midnight. Your parents were heading out. I have no idea where they were going, but I saw that they stood at your bedroom door for a very long time. You've been to my house? To maintain the haunted house, Chen Ge had already sold the old home. He did not wish to return to be reminded of the past. Chen Gu, no matter what, I hope you understand that your parents really did love you. Perhaps they have done stuff that you do not understand now, but I hope you won't be angry at them. The old headmaster seemed to know some things, but he was unable to tell Chen Gu. I haven't seen them for so long already. Chen Ji's voice cut at the headmaster's heart. Stopping, Chen Gu suddenly asked. Can you tell me where they have gone? The headmaster's lips opened to say something, but at the last moment, he closed them again. You can't tell me? Chinga stopped and looked at the headmaster like a helpless child in the wind. The old headmaster hesitated before finally shaking his head. They will come back to find you. It's all right. I also believe that they will return. Chinga sucked in a breath and reverted to his usual self. Come on, let's keep moving. After getting approval from enough specters, the school will approve of us. Then, we will lay our cards on the table. I don't want to drag this on anymore. Sunny, tough, kind, there was a hard determination in his bones. Sometimes, he was so calm that people would be afraid, but other times, he was like a child. The old headmaster looked at Chen Gu. His impression of Chen Gu changed again. If, before this, they were in a cooperative relationship, now, he treated Chin Gu as his junior. The headmaster himself did not notice this change. Perhaps it was due to guilt or something else. Sir, what I told you today, I hope you won't tell anyone else. Chapter 867, 13 Forbidden Zones, Don't worry, I will not tell anyone, the headmaster replied softly. Chen Gu nodded lightly. He walked at the front of the pack, so no one could see his expression. Bai Chiolin, who followed closely behind Chin Gu and the headmaster, did not dare intervene. This was the first time that he had seen this demeanor from his boss. He did not know whether Chin Gu was doing this on purpose to gain the old headmaster's trust or really did trust the old headmaster. Boss? In his mind, Chin Gu was a person who was not afraid of anything. In fact, he would often forget that Chen Gu was a living person. It felt nice staying next to Chen Gu, and it would sometimes create the impression that he had already long left the world. Perhaps because Chen Gu had never treated them as ghosts, they liked the haunted house and chose it as their new home. We have been so caught up in ourselves and our past that we have forgotten about the boss. He has been considerate toward us, but we have never once placed ourselves in his shoes. 
Bai Chiu-Ling carried the mirror. A terrible life gave him the chance to experience the many facets of life, so he had an appreciation for his current position. Bai Chiu-Lin silently titled his head to glance at Su Yin. He wanted to get Su Yin's opinion, but he realized with a shock that Su Yin was looking at Chen Gu, who walked ahead. The depression and pain in his eyes lessened greatly, and blood flowed. Su Yin's lips moved like he wanted to consult Chen Gu, but once his mouth opened, he realized that he had forgotten how to do that. In Hong, is there any place scarier than that classroom in our school? Bring me there now. Chen Ji's tone did not change much, but there was an unsettling undercurrent to it. The man seemed to be angry, and he planned to vent that anger on other specters. There are thirteen forbidden zones in our school. The crying well behind the field, the classroom whose door is always closed, and the nurse's office that one will enter but never leave, we have been to these three places already. In Hong counted on her fingers. There are a few other places that are dangerous. Normally, the teachers warned us against going there. Are you sure you want to go there? There are as many as thirteen such places? The students at this school sure are living in a dangerous place. Chenga smiled. It was simple for a normal person to maintain a smile, but to maintain a smile behind the door while being surrounded by specters and ghosts, this smile took on a different meaning. Let's not stand around, we'll walk and talk. Chen Gu gripped Yin Hong's wrist like he was not holding a red specter but a problematic girl who had just gotten into an argument with her parents. He was in a hurry to get to these places, so he did not mind the details. What are the remaining forbidden zones? The fourth zone is the specimen room with hidden window. This room is on the western side of school as well. The room has many specimens. Due to the uniqueness of the collection, the room does not have a window, but when students pass by the room, they occasionally see a window and a smiling face behind it. In Hong stared at the hand that held her wrist. She wanted to beat the man, but she knew that he was not being malicious toward her, so she did not mind it. This was the first time that she had felt this kind of conflicted emotion. They probably put the specimen of a smiling face behind the window. Chen Ji's tone was no different from normal. If he shares our values, once we get home, I can even build a wall for him. The fifth zone is the inverted education block stairs. The education block is at the center of the school, and on the fourth floor, if you look up when you go down the stairs, you'll see someone going down the stairs above you as well. No one knows why. The sixth zone is the security booth where the door can't close. After the door is closed, it will open on its own. It's very strange, even the red specters can't understand it. The seventh zone is the chairs in the female dormitory. This is one of the few dangerous locations. In Hong paid this place special attention. The fourth floor of the female dormitory is abandoned. There is a red chair placed in the middle of the corridor. There was a girl's name written on it. According to rumors, there was serious bullying in this dormitory, and during dance practice, a few girls forced another girl to jump down the building. Wait a minute. Chen Gu felt this sounded familiar. Do you know the name of the girl who jumped? I don't. I only know that there is a bedroom on the fourth floor, to which entry is forbidden. I hear it is stuffed with red chairs and shoes. And the cruelest and scariest red specter at this school resides there. Until now, no one has seen her, because everyone who did has disappeared. Their hearts were made into candy and their souls into stuffed dolls. Their lingering souls were trapped inside the chairs, and they would never escape. Just the mention of this red specter caused In Hong to be afraid as if afraid that she might really appear. Is she that scary? Chen Ji's forehead was soaked in sweat. He silently let go of In Hong. Continue. The eighth zone is the deepest room in the male dormitory. The room is locked, and a deep stench comes out from it. According to rumors, a father's body and a smelly heart are locked inside. The ninth zone is also in the male dormitory. I can't remember the room, but there are hanging carcasses inside the room. They are all hanged while standing. 
Apparently, that is the punishment for deceit. The tent zone is in the library. When you get close to one of the bookshelves, both red specters and ghosts would disappear. The eleventh zone is a mirror, bad things will happen when you look at this mirror. The twelfth zone is actually just a name and a file. No one knows what the name represents, we only know it's a male name. All the ghosts that say that name will disappear, so until now, no one has been able to tell what the name represents. The last zone is the headmaster's office. No one knows where this is, and no one has seen the headmaster. All the staff operate on the school's consciousness, but according to rumors, we used to have a headmaster. In Hong told Chen Gu the 13 most dangerous places in the school of the afterlife. Some were really dangerous, and some Chen Gu did not know how to comment. Because of Zhang Ye, he did not do any missions related to Western Zhejiang Private Academy, but he now suspected that the three-star scenario without a door might be the former self of the school of the afterlife. Chapter 868, Red Spectre Stench In Hong revealed a lot of information to Chen Gu and confirmed some of his speculation. These thirteen forbidden zones should be the school of the afterlife's last secrets. The few overlapping scenarios between School of the Afterlife and Western Zhejiang Private Academy confirmed my previous speculation. The few forbidden zones did not have the presence of specters because they left with Zhangye. Chen Jie's brain was spinning. Just now Yin Hong said that a room in the male dormitory was rife with a horrible stench, that room should be the place where my worker once stayed. The room is locked with a father's body and a smelly heart. This description is quite interesting. Could it be that the stench currently with me is still not complete? He has locked his heart together with his father's body? Only a red specter would have their own heart. In Hong's words had aroused Qin Ji's attention. In Qin Ji's mind, even though Western Zhejiang Private Academy was deemed a three-star scenario, it was categorized that way because of Zhang Ye. Looks like I underestimated that scenario. Chen Gu was reminded of his fight with the gangsters outside the school. The gangsters had a stench stuck to them, and other specters stayed away from them, but the boy with the horrible smell seemed to enjoy them. No wonder he is so comfortable at this school. Previously, in Coffin Village and Liwan City, other specters evolved through the consumption of ghosts, but he was the only exception. Chen Gu anticipated the surprise that the boy could bring him. The male dormitory was a forbidden zone for others, but for him, it was like a visit to his employee's house. The school of the afterlife keeps changing. If the boy's heart is really locked in the deepest part of the dormitory, I shall help him get it back. But the premise is that he is willing to take his own heart back. The boy had locked his heart up with his father's body. Chenga had no idea why he did that. If the boy wished to forget about the past and live as a happy fatty, then Chen Gu would not force him. Chen Gu ran to the center of the school with Yin Hong leading the place. The closer they got to the center, the more students they saw. Most students followed the warning in the announcement and stayed quietly in the classrooms, but there were some that were wandering about as well, and they were mostly troublemakers. That might not be completely true, but that was what Chen Gu believed. Whenever he ran into these students, he would go talk to them. Sometimes one had to admit Chen Gu was a good persuader. After a series of heart-to-heart -heart exchanges, many students would have tears of regret, and most of them chose to join Chen Ji's group. There was a small group who said that they supported Chen Gu verbally, but since they had something else to do, that it was not convenient for them to follow Chen Gu. They left in a hurry. Traveling from the western part of the school to the center, the group behind Chen Gu grew, and he successfully gained the school's attention. The blood sun burst through the fog and pressed down on the school. As the distance closed, this was the first time Chen Gu saw the sun for what it was. It was actually a giant red eye, the bloodshot pupil had blood vessels running through it, and the eye was reflecting many despairing faces. Each human face should represent a despairing lingering spirit, but there are so many of them. Chen Ge felt like Zhejiang City should not have so many spirits, this monster had perhaps lured in spirits from other place like the cursed hospital. 
It was situated in the middle of the two cities but was categorized by the black phone as part of Jiujiang. The four-star scenarios have shown signs that they influence the areas around them, so just how scary will five-star scenarios be? Outside the window, the eye above the school was huge. The human faces in it were howling and screeching, like they were afraid of something. The school's consciousness keeps staring at the blood city. What kind of monster is hiding there? What is it afraid of? The blood city slowly approached. It appeared like it wished to swallow the school of the afterlife, like a red wave. This is strange. I feel like the city is alive. Here we are. When Chingu was thinking, In Hong had led them to the vicinity of the student dormitory. She pulled on Chin Ji's sleeve and said, All the buildings in the school are joined together to form a large block. The left side is the education block, and the right is the dormitories. If you look closer, you should notice the difference from the color on the walls. Since we're here, let's go take a look. Other than Chang Wenyu and the painter, Chen Gu was not afraid of anyone. He had completed the mission given by Chang Wenyu and more. There were so many people gathered around him, and it was only time he gained the school's approval. We will go take a look at the male dormitory first, the room that you mentioned gave off a horrible smell. You sure have a strange request. Initially, I thought you were acting, like you were pretending not to be afraid, but I now realize how wrong I was. You are enjoying this too much. In Han had a strange expression like a sick person meeting a madman. The adult world is complicated, you won't understand it if I try to explain. Please lead the way. Chen Ge summoned the boy with the smell. This large boy who had an air of stench around him narrowed his eyes. He hugged his belly and looked for all the world to be a harmless person. Ever since he showed up at Chin Ji's haunted house, he had been very tame. Chin Ge knew that the term tame did not suit a specter, but that was how he felt. He worked without complaint, and even when he was bullied, he would smile. He rushed ahead whenever there was trouble even though his kindness might sometimes turn into trouble. Afraid of being the source of visitors' complaints, he often hid at the corners, and whenever the visitors appeared, he would go and hide, afraid that his smell might chase them away. Who would have thought such a kind employee might be a hidden red specter who had locked up his real heart with his father's body? The boy has no corporeal form, this kind of specter can become a red specter, huh? Oh well, we'll know when we get there. Chin Ge and In Hong turned into the male dormitory. Probably because it was still time for class, there were no students around, and a thin layer of blood fog permeated the area. It felt like a window had been broken, and it had not been fixed. They walked down the corridor and walked down the stairs to the fourth floor, before stopping before a door that was sealed by wooden beams. The school sealed up this place, and no one has entered since. No one knows what is behind this. If you open this door recklessly, you might release something incredibly horrifying. Even In Hong gave Chen Gu a warning, which proved that this place was very dangerous to the students. It'll be fine, trust me. Chen Gu glanced at the boy who was still spacing out and signaled for his employees to take down the wooden planks. Chapter 869, Who Will Be Next? As the wooden boards fell off one by one, the boy who stood next to Chin Gu slowly transformed. The large head slowly turned, and the small eyes that were squeezed behind the folds of fat stared straight down the corridor. The corridor sealed by the wooden boards was different from the other corridors in the school of the afterlife. There was no blood fog, and the walls and cement floor looked no different from a normal corridor in real life. In Hong saw the shift in Chin Ji's eyes and whispered to explain, all the students here know that this place is forbidden, so they do not come here. Therefore, it's only natural for this corridor to have retained its previous state. The world behind the door is all red, so how could there be somewhere that is similar to real life? The only explanation is the school meant to keep it this way. Removing the last board, the fog dispersed. Chin Ge and the others rushed in, but only the boy with the smell stood where he was. Have you been reminded of something? Chin Gu wanted to tap the boy's shoulder, but his hand phased through his body. 
The honest fatty was just a ball of smelly air, unlike other specters. The boy did not answer. His round body slowly moved down the corridor. He walked very slowly like he was afraid. Why would he be afraid? Does he not wish to see his real self, or is he unwilling to face the memory in his heart? Chen Gu did not know how to console the boy. He did not urge him. If the boy showed any clear sign of resistance, he would take him out of there immediately. There was no light in the corridor, and all the windows were sealed. This place was completely isolated from the rest of the school. The school did not seem like it liked other people going there, this was his private place. I've only heard of this place from the teachers. I didn't expect things here to appear so normal. In Hong was curious and walked at the front. After a small jog, she stopped. This room is the dormitory that I mentioned earlier. The students who stayed here all said that they would see something standing next to their bed at midnight. His feet stepped on the ground, but there was a noose around his neck. His face was green as he stared at one of the beds. If you met his gaze, you would disappear. Is the door locked? Chenga reached out to push at the door. Hey! Did you not hear me? Can you give me some reaction? I'm telling you something scary. In Hong was not satisfied with Chen Ji's attitude. I know you are brave, but these few forbidden zones are the places where the teachers forbade the students from coming. For all newcomers, the first day of class is for getting to know where they can go and where they can't go. The door isn't locked. Suin, come with me. Chen Ge completely ignored In Hong. While the girl was speaking, he had pushed the door open a sliver. You really want to die, don't you? Listen to me, there are things more painful than death in this world, so don't think that. In Hong was the coagulation of negative emotions in In Bai. She had to face all the negative emotions and cruel memories. Therefore, she had slowly turned into a monster, but due to what had happened earlier, she had stopped hiding herself before Chen Gu. She probably felt close to Chen Gu, believing they were the same type of person. Chen Gu noticed the change in In Hong, too, but he did not pay it any attention. In Hong was the negative memory of Li Xuan. He thought that he would be closer to In Bai unless the ghost fetus was the carrier of the good memories and he was the one who shouldered all the pain. But that was clearly impossible. He did not think much of it and attributed In Hong's change to his sparkling personality. With Su Yin's agreement, Chen Gu pushed the bedroom door open. A faded smell of mildew drifted out. Having gotten used to the smell of blood, the smell of mildew felt strangely familiar. This place is so messy. Dirty clothes and trash littered the room. The luggage and blankets were strewn everywhere like a tornado had just hit the place. Did you discover anything? The headmaster had been following behind Chen Go, like he was worried Chen Go might do something crazy. Shall we leave? This is the school's forbidden zone, we'd better not stay here for too long. Wait a minute. Chen Gu stood in the middle of the room and lifted his head to look at the roof. There were nails pinned to the ceiling painted white. From each nail a tattered cloth was dangling. The cloths of many colors dangled downward. The ceiling was like a white sea, and the red cloths were like corals living on the sea floor. Reaching out to pull at one of them, Chen Gu tugged at it lightly. This cloth is unable to support a person's weight. They can't be used to hang a person. I feel more like they are used to fix mosquito nets. How come your mind goes straight to hanging? The old headmaster stood at the door. This room is not big, there probably aren't any secrets here. The school's consciousness has preserved this place probably because this place is meaningful to it. Boss, look at this. Bai Chilin held the mirror with one hand and his other pointed at the edge of the iron bed frame. The bed had a rope tied to it, and at the other end of the rope was a doll with black hair and a name. This looks like the doll that Zhang Ya once gifted me. Has Zhang Ya been here to help the hanging student before? Looking at the items in the room, Chen Gu could not find the answer. Chen Gu opened the comic and summoned the hanging student. 
Normally, in the haunted house, the hanging man would hide in the mannequin that Chen Gu had specially made for him. He was a normal specter, not even as unique as the stench. The pages turned, and a thin boy appeared in the room. There was an obvious rope mark around his neck, and his neck was dislocated from his shoulders, giving him a strange look. You remember this room, yes? Chen Gu asked softly. The confusion in the student's eyes slowly disappeared, he was like a spooked kitten. He rushed toward one of the beds and tossed all the trash away. He found a black envelope under the mattress, and on it, a sentence was written. Who will be next? The envelope was puffy like it was stuffed with something. The boy held the envelope tightly with both hands. Fear rose in his heart, he was still very afraid. Can I talk a look at that letter? Chin Gu wondered what the hanging man had experienced, why their dormitory room was filled with dolls crafted by Zhang Ya. The boy shook his head with determination. He put the black envelope away and rushed back into the comic. The envelope looks like a curse, but there is nothing that scares me. Since his worker refused to share, Chin Gu would not force it. He inspected the room again and then replaced everything before leading everyone deeper into the male dormitory. Chapter 870 I wish for you to be happy the further they went into the dormitory, the thicker the stench in the air. It was like trash had been piled inside for years without anyone to deal with it. Su In and In Hong walked at the front while Chen Gu and the boy with the stench walked in the middle. The boy tried his best to hold in the smell like he was worried that it might push Chen Gu away from him. This boy had always been like this, he had a body that would naturally give off a bad stench, but his heart was unimaginably pure. If you don't feel well, we can stop here, Chen Gu said softly. He kept interacting with the boy. He rarely forced his workers to do things that they did not want to do. The cheeks with folds of fat swung left and right. The boy rejected Chin Gu, but the further they went down the corridor, the more nervous the expression on his face became. Don't force yourself. Compared to the truth, I'd rather you live a happy life. You didn't feel much happiness when you were alive, and I don't want you to get tortured after death. That would just be too sad. Several minutes later, they reached the end of the corridor. Many students held their noses, this place was too smelly. The stench was hard to describe. It was no longer the decaying smell of trash. It seemed like it would permeate through people's skin to make people feel disgusted from within. None of the people could stand this, only the boy with the stench did not feel uncomfortable. His wavering body even coagulated like the stench there was originally part of his body. He had once abandoned it, but now the smell was gathering around him. The smell around the boy was heaviest, and the students stayed away from him. This was like when he was still at school, no one was willing to be his friend, and everyone stayed away from him. He was made a laughingstock, a walking joke. Are you all right? Chin Ji's hand landed lightly on the boy's shoulder. As the body materialized, Chin Ji's hand did not face through the boy's body anymore. This was the first time that he had felt the boy's body temperature. It was bone chillingly cold, completely different from his appearance. No matter where the others chose to hide, Chin Gu would stand beside the boy. The reason was simple he was his worker. Chin Gu actually had many workers, but he did not ignore their personal feelings, even though there were so many of them. Every worker was important to Chin Gu because he knew, no matter what happened, those specters treated the haunted house as their home, and it was the only place they belonged. Don't be afraid. No matter what happens, I will face it with you. You have many friends now. We will be by your side, so you don't need to face these things alone anymore. Chin Gu wanted to touch the boy's head, but he realized that the boy was too tall, and he could not reach it. Just as he was about to pull away, the large and tall boy took great difficulty to bend over, and the small eyes hidden in his face blinked several times. Chen Gu smiled. He just wanted to console him. He patted the boy on his shoulders, stood beside him, and did not move away. There is a reason this place is forbidden. If we unleash the thing inside it, all of us will be in trouble. A student that had joined them later whispered some advice. 
Many people were talking, and even the old headmaster came over to tell Chen Gu to be careful. Everyone saw Chen Gu as the center of the team, and they would listen to his command. But to everyone's surprise, Chen Gu finally led the boy with the stench to the door and handed the choice over to him. Whether we open the door or leave, it's your choice. Many students were speculating about the two's relationship. Only Bai Chiolin and Su Yin were different, they felt touched. Standing at the end of the corridor, the boy with the ugly appearance stood where he was like he was petrified. He raised his arm to grab the doorknob, but he lacked the courage to turn it. Turning back to look, he was standing at the darkest part of the corridor. This brought some memories. Many times in the past, he had wished to escape this room, but whenever he saw the long corridor leading away from it and the gauntlet of faces that would be staring at him, he would lose his courage. This small room was a place that belonged to him fully, it was the place that had made him feel the safest until his respected father died in the room. The stench in the air thickened a lot. The boy hesitated for a long time before tightening his grip to push the door open. A stinging stench rushed out from the room, and many people subconsciously stepped away. Only Chen Gu, Su Yin, and the boy were left at the door. Trash littered the room, much of which had decayed until its shape could not be recognized. Once the door opened, the trash spilled out into the corridor. There was not even a spot for them to stand inside the room. The boy walked into the room. He stepped on the trash with his eyes glued to the armoire in the corner of the room. Chen Gu knew what was inside it. He blocked the people behind him so that they would not disturb the boy. The room was familiar to the boy. He stopped next to his bed. He waved his arms to clear away the trash that sat on the bedsheet and look at the mattress that hid underneath it. The broken mattress was covered with dark red stains. With a shaking body, the thing that he had been avoiding suddenly appeared before him. The red on the mattress reflected in his eyes, causing the red in his eyes to deepen. Strange noises elicited from his throat. It was as if he had not spoken for a long time and had forgotten how to phrase a sentence. In the end, he gripped the mattress with both hands as he tried to tear it open. Pieces of mattress with stains fluttered around the room like dark snow. The boy stood next to the bed as memories flashed within his mind. The voice in his throat grew louder, and it sounded like both anger and helpless pleading. Seeing the helpless boy in the room, Chin Go slowly closed the door. The boy probably did not want others to see him like that. In the dirty and cramped room, only the boy and Chin Gu were left. Standing quietly beside the door, Chin Gu allowed the boy to vent his emotions. He felt like he should be there to accompany him. The stench in the room could make a person go mad. The boy calmed down after a long time, but there was change to his little eyes. They were filled with black and red blood vessels. Pudgy hands gripped the armoire, and he slowly opened the door. To Chin Ji's surprise, the stench in the room did not increase, and an adult body wrapped in cling wrap did not fall out. Chapter 871, Follow the Boy with the Smell, stood before the armoire and stared at it dumbly. Chen Gu was curious. He slowly approached the armoire, but when he saw the thing inside it, shock appeared on his face. There was a short, fat, ugly boy curled up in the corner. The boy was covered in plastic wrap, and there was a clear wound around his heart and a faded mark around the neck. Is this the boy from back then? The boy's fists were clenched tight, and they did not release after death. His left hand was holding a picture, and the right hand was holding a piece of someone's shirt. The shirt was an adult shirt. The appearance of the boy meant that the diary that could be found in Chin Ji's haunted house was false. The truth is not what I expected. What really happened here? The boy stood quietly before the armoire. He looked at the boy inside the armoire, and a bitter smile appeared on his round face. He pulled back the plastic wrap on the child's arm and took the picture in the child's palm. It was the picture of a father and his son. In the picture, everyone smiled brightly. Who would have thought that things would end up like this? A roar erupted from his throat. The boy's hands hardened, 
and he tore the picture that he had held until death into small pieces. As the picture was torn, wounds started to surface on the body of the boy in the armoire that were caused by domestic violence. Blood leaked under the plastic wrap. The adult in the picture was crying, but the boy was clapping and laughing. When the picture was completely torn, the boy in the armoire had turned fully red, and the layers of plastic wrap over him started to crack. Woo! The boy with the smell sounded like he was calling someone's name. It sounded like a goodbye and a summon. He scattered the torn picture on the ground. With red in his eyes, he turned to look at Chen Gu before whispering something. Chen Gu could not hear him clearly. As he was about to ask the boy to repeat himself, the boy with the smell stepped into the armoire. The smell lightened, blood fog flowed into the room, and blood vessels grew and spread through the room with the armoire as the center. This room had originally looked like real life, but in just few minutes, blood vessels crawled all over the wall. This was how a place should look like behind the door. All the smell has gathered inside the armoire? The boy squeezed his large body inside the armoire, accompanying him was the roomful of stench. When the stench disappeared fully, a strange sound came from the armoire. Chen Gu turned toward it, and a small fatty in red looked back at him. Are you the boy with the smell? Chen Gu narrowed his eyes to study the boy. What's your name? Chen Gu did not know what had happened to him. The boy had probably put down his past and found his heart. Everything began anew, and Chen Gu felt like he could not refer to the boy as the one with the smell anymore, he should have his own name. The fatty in the armoire did not speak. He was ugly, but not inapproachable. Don't you remember me? I am our haunted house's boss, Chen Gu. The boy still did not speak. He just continued to stare at Chen Gu like he was trying to imprint his face in his mind. The communication failed. Chen Gu reached out to pull the boy out of the armoire, but the boy showed no reaction. All right, one should pick their own road. I will not force you to do anything. I am glad to have known you. If you run into any problems that you can't solve in the future, come and find me in Western Zhejiang's haunted house. Chen Gu had enough power to give a red specter such a promise. He said that and turned to walk out the room. But as he did so, there came another sound from the armoire. Chen Gu turned back to look. The fatty boy jumped out from the armoire. The plastic wrap clung to him as he followed closely behind Chen Gu, like he was afraid of staying in the room alone. No matter what you choose, I will understand. If you are willing to return, the door to the haunted house is always open. But you will have to retake the employee exam. Those who fail cannot interact with the visitors. Chen Gu had actually given up a moment earlier, but to his surprise, the boy who found his heart was still willing to follow him. They walked out of the room. The people outside were still curious about the sudden disappearance of the smell until they saw the red fatty behind Chen Gu. Another red specter? Everyone including the headmaster was shocked. Do you know this boy? In Hong nudged by Chou Lin lightly and showed a cute, innocent face. He does look familiar. Bai Chou Lin had no idea what was going on, but if it was related to his boss, he did not think that anything could be shocking anymore. The stench turned into a red fatty, and he was so much more powerful than before, but he refused to communicate with anyone. It was unclear whether he had lost his ability to speak or was too afraid to speak. Come, we've explored the male dormitory, so we should go to the female dormitory. Chen Ji's eyes moved away from the boy, thinking about something else. There had once been a door pusher in Western Zhejiang Private Academy, which explained why the school would appear behind the door, and the male dormitory that he was in should be the reflection of the private academy when the door pusher died. The school of the afterlife expanded madly but chose to retain the few important locales. This should be the result of the lingering consciousness of the door pusher. Western Zhejiang Private Academy has a serious management problem. No wonder it was abandoned in the end. Other than the stench, the hanging man, and Zhang Ye, there was a door pusher who was cornered. Many students were bullied here, so for them, this school was already hell. 
As Chin Go looked at the corridor that was slowly dyed red, a thought appeared in his mind. To gain the school's approval, I must change the school itself, because this entire school is a nightmare for all the despairing children. Chen Gu shook his head. He decided to take it slow. The scenario related to the stench has been preserved, so the scenario related to Zhang Ye might be preserved behind the door as well. As the boy entered his corresponding scenario behind the door, his power grew tremendously. If I return to Zhang Ye's scenario, will that help her? Chen Gu knew very well that Zhang Ye was caught in a crucial moment, and he needed to try his best to help her. Chapter 872 I was the first to step forward blood fog rushed into the male dormitory. The forbidden zone that was isolated by the school's consciousness was heavily damaged. The forgotten memory was regained, blood vessels climbed all over the old walls, and this place turned into just like everywhere else in the school. The other side is the female dormitory, the place was made forbidden by the school, and no one has been in there. In Hong stood one meter away from Chen Go. I'd advise you not to go there. The legend about the female dormitory and the headmaster's story are the two big forbidden taboos in the school. Even the school has chosen to forget about them. It's okay. I have confidence. Chen Ji's voice was scarily calm. You are just an outsider, do you think that you know the school better than me? You were lucky in the male dormitory, but your luck won't last forever. Your actions in the male dormitory have caused some changes. The school's consciousness is slowly being influenced. If you enter the forbidden zone in the female dormitory, it might trigger the school's consciousness and turn the entire school against you, In Hong advised quietly. She was originally the kind who preferred things to be as chaotic as possible, but she was completely different in front of Chen Gu. This man did not need any probing to head toward the most dangerous and scariest endless abyss. If she did not stop him, she would be dragged down into it as well. You think you understand the school's consciousness, but after so many years, there has not been a new door pusher. This proves that you have misunderstood the school, Chen Gu said. We don't understand the school? In Hong pouted. The school's consciousness is made up of the students' collective consciousness. We are a part of the school, and the school is us, how can we not understand ourselves? Sometimes, the person that understands you the most is not yourself. Chen Ji's eyes moved between In Hong and In Bai. Chen Gu, we have created such a big commotion, which will attract the school's attention. If you continue like this, it will be hard for us to escape unnoticed. The old headmaster was worried. He felt like the lower profile they kept, the better, but obviously, Chinga thought differently. Soon, the school will be very busy. Furthermore, everything that we've done is to help it. It will understand soon enough. Chinga said something that surprised everyone and headed down the other direction without turning back. Compared to the male dormitory, he anticipated the female dormitory more. The reason was simple, because it might contain something that Zhang Ye lost. At the corner of the corridor, before Chen Gu stepped into the female dormitory, footsteps came from the other side of the corridor, and from upstairs, many people seemed to be hurrying their way. The influence caused by the opening of the male dormitory was far bigger than Chen Gu had expected. The blood fog expanded and shadows appeared in the fog. Suin. Chen Gu took a step back to stand next to Suin and the headless woman. So many people want to stop me? Is the female dormitory that important? The bigger the school's reaction, the greater the possibility there was something wrong with the female dormitory. Zhang Ye's secret might be hidden there. This extraordinary greater red specter seemed to have a special connection with the school of the afterlife. Standing at the crossroads between two corridors, Chen Gu lifted his head to look. From the left side, the staff were rushing over, and from the right were the senior students who were dressed in deep-colored uniform. From the front, normal students were coming from the normal classrooms. Are you the one who took down the wooden boards to the male dormitory? One of the teachers demanded harshly. Yes. Chen Gu did not deny it. Don't you know the place is forbidden? Students are not allowed to enter it, 
not even the teachers are allowed entry. I do. Chin Ji's disregard for the rules completely angered the teacher. You know the rules, yet you. I only went there to claim the thing that my friend lost. You said I have broken the rules, but who made the rule that no one can enter the forbidden zone, and who decided that the place is forbidden? From the beginning, Chin Gook did not think that he had done anything wrong. He planned to turn this whole school from its basis. In comparison, the painter and Chang Wenyu were making small skirmishes, but for now, no one could tell what Chin Gu was planning. Even if someone did, they would not have believed it. You are speculating about the school's consciousness? The second person who spoke Chin Gu recognized, it was Mr. Lei. If it is wrong, why can't I be suspicious about it? The school's consciousness is the collective consciousness of all the students here, but sometimes, the majority is not right. Since none of you dare question it, I will do it. Chin Gu was like a traveler who lit a candle in the dark. He was about to pave a new road for others to follow. Do you know what you're talking about? Mr. Lei and the other teachers slowly approached Chin Gu, and the atmosphere turned heavy. I know what I am talking about, and I know what I'm doing. I just wish to create a path of change for the rest of you before I end up broken. Chin Gu looked at the students who hurried over. Are you really happy here? At this school made from despairing students, do you feel any warmth from the strength of numbers? You are merely pushing yourselves deeper into the abyss. I see some of you have turned from victims into bullies. You have done what you hated the most, you are slowly turning into the person that once disgusted you the most. The scariest thing is, if you dare step forth to say no, that is seen as a resistance against the whole school, and that brave person will be bulldozed until he disappears. You make this sound too serious. Mr. Lei frowned. He felt like Chin Gu was different from the other students and would be hard to educate. As the teachers here, you don't realize the gravity of the situation. That proves how serious the situation is. Being protected by two red specters, Chin Gu was not afraid to speak. He ignored Mr. Lei and turned to the students. No matter what you remember of your lives, every one of you has a gray past, only those with despair can enter this world behind the door. I do not know the meaning of the door's presence, but the door pusher opened the door because he is looking for salvation behind the door. Chin Gu did not raise his voice, but he made sure everyone could listen to his words. This school was not meant to turn into something like it. It is a home for you, a place to help you walk out form despair. But take a look for yourselves. Does this place look like a sanctuary that calms one's soul? The students did not expect Chin Gu to say something like that. Many of them had missing memories, they were like walking zombies at the school. You can take your time to digest what I said. I know that changing everyone's mind will be difficult, but I will not give up. Chen Gu did not know what fear was. From the beginning, he never did plan to obtain the school's approval, but rather change the school's consciousness. Chapter 873 Entering the female dormitory Chen Ji's eyes swept over every student's face before he raised his student ID above his head. I am also a member of this school, but I have limited power alone. I can't change all of you, but I will try my best to gain the approval from even one more person. What he said had never been heard from the staff of the school before. At this school, students were slowly getting numb, they had no idea what they wanted. The school's consciousness was made up from every one of them, but for the consciousness, each one of them was so insignificant. Unable to change, powerless to struggle, they could only assimilate to survive under the school's consciousness. Chin Gu said a lot, but it was impossible to change everyone's mind with a few words. Still, it was not all for naught. Some of the students were thinking, some of their expressions changed like they were reminded of something painful. People often warn us against becoming complacent. Warmth comes from hiding in one's shell. No one cares what the shell is because, no matter what, with the protection of the shell, the person inside will not be harmed, but is that true? Chin Gu pointed at the blood fog that traveled down the corridor. While you've been hiding inside the shell in silence, the poison outside has already leaked into the shell and permeated into your body. 
when you realized it, it was already too late. It is too late for salvation, and hope has become despair. You can only watch your body being consumed little by little, and the shell that you are unwilling to walk out of will become your tomb. Taking a step forward, Chin Gu walked toward the female dormitory. The long team behind him comprised the people that supported him. Even Mr. Lei did not dare take them too lightly. If they fought head-on, their chance of victory was small. After all, the real owner of this school was the despairing students. There are still many secrets hidden at this school, but I don't have time to explore them anymore. Before the fight between Chang Wenyu and the painter reaches the end, I have to gather more power. Chen Gu did not care about the forbidden zones, he knew that the place was hiding Zhang Ye's past. Perhaps when the door at Western Zhejiang Private Academy was pushed open, Zhang Ye had already been there, and she had stayed in the female dormitory. Turning souls into candy, spirits into dolls, and trapping specters inside chair, that does sound like Zhang Ye, but I believe she had her reasons. Chen Gu led Su Yin and the headless woman and stopped before the students who blocked his way. I do not ask that you support me, but if you think I do make sense, if you don't feel happiness at this school and have been bullied, please do not stop me. These people heard what Chen Gu said for the first time in their lives. After all, in this school, it was rare for someone to hold on to hope. Yet, this man wanted the despairing souls to feel happiness and find salvation? That was preposterous in their mind. These seniors in dark-colored uniforms had given up such thoughts a long time ago. The longer they stayed at the school, the more they understood that there was no hope there. This was a nightmare filled with despair that they could not escape from. It was unclear who first took a step to the side, but more people followed, moving to open a path. It was unclear whether they believed him or were afraid of the red specters behind Chen Gu, perhaps it was both. When the seniors retreated, something that sounded like thunder came from outside the school. The surrounding fog gathered around Chen Gu and stuck to his body. It seemed to wish to consume him but realized that Chen Gu was not a specter, so it could not enter his body. Something has changed with the school's consciousness. Is it because I have gained more of the students' approval? Chen Gu knew full well that the school's consciousness was made up from the students, and changing the students' mind was changing the school's mind. The students did not stop Chen Gu, and that was outside Mr. Lei's expectation. Seeing that Chen Gu was about to leave, he yelled, The female dormitory is a forbidden zone. Since you said that you were doing this for the students, trespassing into the forbidden zone is your way of doing that, is it? Trespassing will lead to salvation? Chen Gu ignored him, and that caused Mr. Lei to get angrier. The scariest monsters and the strongest curses are hiding in the forbidden zones. Not only will trespassing into them harm you, it will harm everyone. They trust you that much, but you're leading them to their death. The staff were the school's consciousness executioner. They would stop Chen Gu, which was within Chen Ji's expectations. Chen Gu stopped and turned to look at Mr. Lei. Then, do you dare to make a bet with me? If I can walk out of this forbidden zone safely, do not come and block me anymore and say things like I will harm the others. What if you lose? Mr. Lei had a fiery temper, but he had toned down a lot before Chen Gu. If I lose, it means that I will have died inside the forbidden zone, the bet would be null and void. Chen Gu made sense. Before Mr. Lei answered, he walked away. Walking past the seniors, Chen Gu entered the female dormitory and walked to the fourth floor. The road ahead was blocked by a bunch of trash, and a wooden board stood next to it, barring people from entry. Looking through the gap, Chen Gu saw a faded red chair placed in the middle of the corridor. The chair was placed there like there was someone sitting there. Come, let's go take a look. The scene that he saw was similar to the scenario in Western Zhejiang Private Academy. Looks like I've come to the right place. Everyone had their secrets, including Zhang Ye. There were many secrets around her, and the more Chen Gu interacted with her, the more curious he became. Arrestingly beautiful and impossibly strong with a mysterious past, such a girl has found me. Chen Gu had Su Yin and Bai Chiu Lin clear away the trash, 
and they entered the fourth floor of the female dormitory. They only took a few steps when Shen Ge felt a tug on his shoulder. He turned back to see Su Yin looking at him. What's wrong? After finding his heart, Su Yin had become more expressive, and he moved to stand before Chen Gu. Without saying a word, Chen Gu could understand what he meant. This place made him feel danger, so he volunteered to lead the way. Chapter 874 What Did the Girl See? Thick blood fog rolled into the corridor, following Chen Gu. The red chair in the distance flickered in and out of existence, and they could hear pleading and cries in their ears. How many people have died in this corridor? Just walking down it feels so creepy, the headmaster said softly. Once he opened his mouth, cold air rushed into his throat. I have no idea. Chen Ge shook his head. He was slowly getting close to Zhang Ye's secret. Just how did an innocent girl turn into a greater red specter? The answer to that should be found here. The pleading in their ears grew. Blood dripped, and small blood vessels surfaced on the walls. This corridor felt like the intestine of a beast. Chen Gu, something feels off. The old headmaster guarded In Hong and In Bai. He wanted to say something more, but In Hong got to it first. This place makes me feel uncomfortable. There's a jolt in my heart. We'd better stop here. A red specter's heart was different from that of a normal person. Their heart was their deepest resentment. If there was shaking to their heart, it meant that their existence was threatened, and they were inside a very dangerous situation. Boss, I also feel a numbness coming over me. By Chilin's hand that placed in his pocket was shaking. The last time that he had experienced this was when he was with the shadow in Liwan City. Don't panic. Of everyone there, only Chin Gu managed to keep his calm. His eyes stared at the chair down the hall. Every time he blinked, the distance between him and the chair seemed to close. This felt so familiar, just like the first time he went to Western Jiujiang Private Academy. Be careful of that chair. In Hong warned again. The chair was not that scary, but it seemed to represent something that could elicit the fear in people's heart. The pleading sounds like it comes from the chair. Is the rumor at this school real? The seniors and staff waited at the entrance to the female dormitory, and they saw this. Blood fog drifted, and the red chair was slowly approaching. No one had been inside there before, and all their hearts were jumping. The scariest legend at the school was before them. No one knew what would happen next, everyone held their breath. Save me. Save me. A girl's voice became clearer. As the chair grew close, the people saw the faded image of a girl sitting on the chair with venom in her eyes. She seems to be looking for a scapegoat. Even red specters did not scare the girl on the chair. Her expression kept twisting as she came at the group. What is it? We can see it but can't sense it. She doesn't look like a specter or a lingering spirit. This is strange. Not only did Chen Ge feel that, all the red specters around him felt it. The girl on the chair seemed to melt into the corridor. As the girl got closer, the corridor felt as if it was shortening like a mouth that was trying to consume everyone. Be careful. Cries for help mixed in the thick blood. Everyone had a bad feeling. Mr. Lei, are we going to just stand here? A female teacher asked. What if something happens to them? Many students follow him. Then you go in and get them to come out. I won't stop you. Mr. Lei glared at her. Before I joined this school, the forbidden zones were here. These are where the most dangerous secrets at this school are hidden. Do you know why they are secrets? The female teacher did not look that relaxed. She shook her head. They are secrets because once you know what they are, you have to pay something back in return something like death or becoming part of the secret yourself. Mr. Lei was a clever person, or else he would not have survived for so long at the school. Go and call for help. Get some bricks and be prepared to seal up this place. Sir, something is banging against the school from outside. There are openings everywhere. We don't have enough manpower to order around anymore. 
There is no other option. Just follow my order. There is no need to disperse the students here? No, I want them to see for themselves the death of that Chengu inside the Forbidden Zone. That way, no one will go against the school anymore, and no one will believe him. Mr. Lei retreated to the crowd. There are too many difficult students at this school. It is time for a wake-up call. But is this really the correct thing to do? The female teacher wanted to change his mind. It's too late to anything else. When they saw the chair, the ending was decided. Be it specters or red specters, once they are targeted by the monsters locked in the chair, unless they can escape from this school, the only ending is death. Mr. Lay obviously knew something, but he did not elaborate. However, there was a pain in his eyes like he had once lost someone important to this. This female dormitory is a man-eating monster. No one who has entered it has left. Through the crowd, Mr. Lei looked down the corridor. The red chair was rapidly moving toward Chen Gu. Resistance will lead to more change, and there are monsters inside the rooms along the corridor. Once he makes his move, everyone will be eaten until there is nothing left. Mr. Lei's eyes had seen the result. He yelled to the students behind him. Get back. This place will soon. He had not finished when Mr. Lei saw the strange expression on the female teacher beside him. He turned and saw the chair finally appear before Chen Gu. But then, the girl on the chair suddenly screamed and ran down the corridor faster than the speed she came. That's impossible. Mr. Lei's hand froze in midair. He walked to the female dormitory entrance and moved the trash away to see. The scream of the girl alerted all the monsters in the corridor, but unlike what Mr. Lei expected, the scene where Chin Ji's group was torn into pieces did not happen. Instead, the doors along the corridor slammed shut, and he even heard some being locked. What did the girl on the chair see? Mr. Lei did not get it, nor did the others following Chin Gu. However, Chin Gu himself knew what had happened after several seconds. The girl on the chair probably sensed Zhang Ye's presence. That is the only explanation. Chen Gu turned to look at his shadow. Only the lingering scent on me can scare her away like that. Will Zhang Ye awaken soon? Chapter 875 Zhang Ye's present Chen Gu firmly believed that there was something important to Zhang Ye hidden in this school. The boy with the stench was a good example. After he found his heart in the male dormitory, he had drastically changed. If Chen Gu could find the thing Zhang Ye had lost, perhaps she would wake up, and then he would have the support to do the things he really wanted to. Chen Gu, why did the girl leave just like that? The old headmaster was confused. The atmosphere in the corridor was strange, but the suffocating presence had lessened a lot. Because she was afraid, Chen Gu said. He was calm like everything was within his control. Seeing that, the students around him felt that they had made the right choice. I will lead the way. In Hong was more curious about Chen Gu. Just now, she had been very close to Chen Gu, so she had clearly seen the girl on the chair suddenly retreat after seeing Chen Gu. In other words, the girl was not afraid of Su Yin, who guarded Chen Gu, but Chen Gu himself. Just stand beside me. From the monster's reaction, they don't seem to be afraid of red specters. Chen Gu volunteered to stay in front. In Hong was trying to analyze the meaning behind Chen Ji's words. They are not afraid of red specters, so this man had me stand beside him. Does that mean that he is more powerful than a red specter? In Hong looked Chen Gu, who appeared calm, and a beautiful misunderstanding was formed. In my eyes, he is just a normal person. Could I be wrong? Is he not weak, but I simply can't see through him? Chen Gu had been to this place before. He knew where Zhang Ye's room was, so he did not need In Hong to lead the way. The chair in the corridor had disappeared and gone into hiding. Chen Gu ignored it and walked to the deepest part of the fourth floor. Is your secret hidden behind this door? Standing at the door, Chen Gu mumbled to himself before pushing the door open. The wooden door cracked into splinters when it was pushed. When Chen Gu pushed it fully open, 
the old door shattered like it had been under a great deal of pressure, and the light push from Chingu was the straw that broke its back. Wooden splinters and blood vessels rained down, and endless malice rushed out from inside the room. This was the first time that Chen Gu had seen the evil in someone's heart so clearly. Negative emotions materialized, and in the world behind the door, they coagulated to form black tentacles. Instantly, the walls around the room were dyed black. Stand behind me. When the malice rushed out, Chen Gu was standing in their way, but the black tendrils purposely avoided him like they had no interest in him. What have you released? The black malice spread down the corridor. When Mr. Lei saw this, he had the students retreat. Do not touch those things. Move back. Get everyone here. Quick. Seal up this place. It was chaos on the fourth floor, but Chen Gu stood at the doorway, unaffected. Zhang Ye once suffered this malice before. Chen Gu seemed to have opened Pandora's box. Commotion came from outside the school, like the consciousness had gone insane. You seem to have gotten into real trouble. In Hong was shocked by the wave of malice. The girl who was not afraid of anything realized how obedient she had been before meeting Chen Gu. It's fine. This is still fine? Can't you hear what's outside? The school's consciousness. Shush. I told you it's fine. Everything is under control. Chin Gu put down the backpack and removed all the items that he had on him. What are you doing? I want to go in to take a look. This malice has purposely avoided me, but I fear it might harm my friends inside the bag. Chin Gu knew that everything in the room was afraid of Zhang Ye in his shadow. He did not know if Zhang Ye could protect the others in his backpack. For safety's sake, he decided to enter the lair alone. Suin, don't stay too far away from me. If there's a problem, yank me out and run. After that, Chen Gu looked inside the room. The malice had dispersed a lot, and using his yin-yang vision, he could see clearly inside it. Broken chairs were piled inside the room, and each chair was imprinted with a face and a name. Before Chen Gu appeared, they had pleaded for mercy, but after Chen Gu entered the room, all the voices disappeared. The human faces on the chairs turned to look behind Chen Gu, and their faces showed fear. What have you done to them? The room was not big. Other than the chairs, there were pairs of female shoes. There were different styles, but it was missing a pair of red ballet shoes. She is missing a pair of shoes, so she has been searching for them? If Chen Gu looked at this objectively and combined it with the legend, then Zhang Ye was the scariest specter that he had ever met. His body was shaking. Chen Gu had known that Zhang Ye was scary, but in reality, Zhang Ye was scarier than he had thought. The person who accompanied him always had such a past. Anyone else would have panicked, but Chen Gu only took a deep breath and then appeared to say instinctually, in the future, I will face these malicious things on your behalf. Chen Gu did not move the wooden chairs. He called Zhang Ye's name patiently. He wanted to use this familiar room to rouse her, but there was no response. Looks like I have to move in deeper. The thick malice was unable to get close to Chen Gu, but the students nearest to him started to have black spots show on their bodies. It seemed their minds were affected. Leave this place. Only the red specters and half-red specters should stay. When Chen Gu first got the black phone, he did not expect that he would someday say something like that. He looked at the chairs. Chen Gu saw that all the girls' beds had a doll placed on them. The dolls were sewn with black hair, and some of them wore bloody clothes, like they had been half-red specters before they were turned into dolls. Scanning over these dolls, Chen Gu turned to the last bed in the room. It was also the only clean bed. The sheet did not even have a crease, and there was a bag of delicate sweets placed next to the pillow. Each candy was a terrified soul. The different wrappers seemed to signify different flavors. She likes to handmade dolls and prefers sweets. This girl is quite cute if you think about it. Chen Gu walked to the inner part of the room. He placed the bag of sweets in his hands and was about to turn when he saw a blood-red present box sitting on the bed. 
The box was crumpled, incongruous with the well-kept bed. Chapter 876 It's not good to talk behind people's backs, Chen Gu had seen many present boxes in his life, but this was the first time that he had seen one that appeared like it had been soaked in blood. Did Zhang Ye want to give this to someone, or did someone want to give this to her? A dirty box was placed on the clean bed. It was clear that the owner cared about this present. Standing in the scariest forbidden zone at the school, with screaming monsters everywhere, Chin Gu did not feel afraid but had a special feeling. Before this, when Zhang Ye gave me a bloody love letter, a candy made from a soul, and dolls sewn from hair, I felt that they were hard to accept, but seeing this box on Zhang Ye's bed, I feel weirdly envious. Malice surrounded him, and Chen Gu stood inside the room alone. The people outside were highly tense as they kept their gazes on Chen Gu. They would rush in to save him if there was something wrong, but who would have thought that Chen Gu was thinking about something else? From their perspective, Chen Ji's usually calm face suddenly turned serious with a frown like something unexpected had happened. Should I open it? But it's not good to go through people's stuff like that. But Zhang Ye is not a stranger, and she is still hibernating, so it should be fine if I help her take a look at it. Chen Ge felt conflicted. His hands just touched the box, and the bow at the top of the box undid itself. I didn't touch anything. Chen Ge turned to the shadow behind him and then slowly opened the box lid. Nothing changed inside the room. The sound of a heart beating came from the box. Chen Gu leaned closer to look and saw the red ballet dress that sat inside the box. This is the present? There was a card on top of the dress. Chen Gu picked up the dress, and a simple wish was written on it. Merry Christmas, my dear daughter. Me and your mother miss you a lot, so we prepared a new dress for you. The present seemed to come from Zhang Ye's parents. In this room filled with malice and despair, this small box was the most precious thing to Zhang Ye. Seeing the dress inside the box, Chen Ge felt like he was looking at Zhang Ye's beating heart. Under the cold exterior, there was warmth. This is the most important thing to Zhang Ye, but how come I feel so sad looking at it? Chen Ge put the card down. His fingers caressed the dress. The dress was soaked in blood, and the stains were uneven, some deep, some light. There was sign of wearing at the edges of the box. The box was placed on the clean bed neatly, so she wasn't the one who did this. In real life, when Zhang Ye saw the box for the first time, it was probably already like this, soaked in blood and ruined. Chen Ge did not know what had happened to Zhang Ye's parents, but since this box was Zhang Ye's deepest secret, it explained many things. There appeared to be something else inside the box, under the dress, but Chen Ge did not go through it. He replaced the box and turned to his shadow. Sorry, I'm not good wish words, so I don't know what to say. I can't promise you anything, but I can tell you, as long as I am around, you won't be alone, I will be by your side. Carrying the box carefully in his arms, Chen Gu wanted to hand it over to Zhang Ye personally, but he noticed that the bottom of the box was stuck to the bedsheet. Upon closer inspection, he found that the bottom of the box was tied with long hair. The hair appeared to be alive as it fixed the box to the bed. Other than Chen Gu, anything that came close to the box would be pierced by the hair. I was too careless, I didn't even see this. Thankfully, she has no malice toward me. Chen Gu was not going to force things. He placed the box back and allowed Zhang Ye to make the decision herself after she woke up. Strangely enough, when he placed the box back on the bed, a sound came from the cupboard next to him like someone was trying to get his attention. Is there something inside the cupboard? This was the scariest forbidden zone, so Chen Gu did not dare lower his guard. He slowly pulled the door open. As the door opened, a doll fell out from inside. This was an ugly doll. Instead of saying it was made from cloth, it was more like it was patched up with hair. What is this? The doll's eyes were glinting. It could not control its body and could only move one finger. What are you trying to tell me? Chinga felt like the doll wanted to express something. 
He did not get too close, but dragged the doll by its leg to the door to meet up with Suin before squatting down next to it. After leaving Zhang Ye's room, the doll seemed to come to life. The eyes became more brilliant, and it used its remaining finger to point about. Boss, you took this from inside the room? Bai Chilin and Suin guarded beside Chen Go. They looked at the doll on the ground strangely. It was the first time that they had seen something like this. I think it's someone who has bullied Zhang Ye before. Once Chen Ge said that, the finger of the doll moved wildly like it had been wronged. Seeing this reaction, Chen Ge was curious. He pointed at the ground next to the doll. Use the blood on the ground to write. I can read. The doll hesitated. It did not seem to wish for too many people to know what he wanted to say. Under the doll's insistence, Chen Ge and Su Ying moved to block the other people's view. Now, you can write. The doll's finger moved quickly. Chen Ge tried to understand its handwriting. Take me away from here. I know her secret. You wish to talk terms with me? Chen Ge scoffed. This doll wanted to use Zhang Ye's secret to negotiate with him. He was about to remove one of the doll's arms to make it come to its senses when the doll started to write again. I can sense her presence on you, but I've been watching since you enter the door, she appears to be sleeping. If she knew that I'm still conscious, she would kill me. Everyone that gets too close to her dies, you are no exception. I know you are afraid. Take me away. I know her very well, and I know how to get rid of her. You might not sense it now, but she is using you. After you've lost your value, she will not hesitate to kill you. Those dolls are your future. Do not be tricked by her appearance, she is the scariest specter, a nightmare you can't shake, completely mad. Trust me. I was the school's first headmaster, the woman killed the real door pusher. She is the school's consciousness real enemy. The doll's eyes were glinting. After he wrote everything, he glanced at Chen Gu. The shocked expression that he expected from Chen Gu did not appear, but the atmosphere was rather strange. Chapter 877, Zhang Ye's Secret I'm Not Lying to You Everything I wrote is true. The doll's finger was almost broken, but there was no reaction from the people around it. This made him feel mad and awkward. Naturally, Chen Ge knew that the doll was not lying, but the problem was that he was not being used by Zhang Ye. If he really analyzed it, it was Zhang Ye who had saved him many times. Without this specter who stuck to him like a nightmare, he would have died under a chop from an axe during his first trial mission. The doll lay on the ground, his feet being pulled by Chen Gu. It was hard to believe that this was the most mysterious headmaster in the school of the afterlife. Ever since she left, no one has entered this forbidden zone. I know she will return. If she realizes that I still have my consciousness, I will die, so you are my only hope. The doll could not speak. His finger wrote madly as his eyes stared at Chen Gu. There were complicated emotions in them. No one in the corridor spoke. Chen Gu did not know what to say as this was his first time encountering such a situation. You will die. The specters trapped in here are your ending. Do not fall for her lies. After a long time, Chen Gu asked, What has she done to you? Can't you see? I've been changed into this form. Do you need me to fill you in on the details? The doll was shamed, and his eyes were red. The person that you mentioned is different from the person that I know, Zhang Ye. No, do not say that name. Do not mention it. Chen Gu was only halfway through when the doll started to madly write. All right, from how I see it, the girl. Girl? Wake up please. Look at these pleading people behind the door. Do you think she deserves to be called a girl? The doll snapped. He had turned into a specter due to a lingering obsession after his death, and now it appeared like Zhang Ye was that obsession. I can't do this. I can't say that. You are quite interesting. Chen Gu looked into the doll's red eyes, and his tone changed. You must have done something to make her unhappy to deserve an ending like this. 
The doll's finger suddenly stopped like he was considering Chin Ji's question. I will only help you if you tell me the truth. Chin Ga had a warm smile on his face. After all, I have to take a big risk to help you. Fine. The doll was convinced by Chin Gu. There was sound coming from his throat and stomach. Small blood vessels tore open the patch, and they formed a bloody sentence on his tattered outfit. The school appeared due to the fact that a child pushed open the door. The child was once the student here, and due to a misunderstanding, after he pushed open the door, I accidentally entered it as well. Only when one is at the deepest point of despair can one push open the door. It has to be more than a misunderstanding that the door pusher yanked you into the door. Chin Gu saw through the lie immediately. If you're going to lie to me, there is no need to continue this conversation. I am not lying to you. The door pusher studied at Western Jiujiang Private Academy, and I was the headmaster there. The student was bullied and died in the crematorium due to many reasons. I admit that I had problems managing the school, but I was really unrelated to his death. You are the headmaster of Western Jiujiang Private Academy? Not many people knew about the place, so the fact that the doll could say that meant that he really did know something. Yes, I was led behind the door by the door pusher. I know that the child was pitiable, so no matter what he's done to me, I do not resent him. If anything, I feel guilty. At the time, we were the only two behind the door. Perhaps my accompaniment touched him because I gradually gained his understanding and forgiveness. Don't place yourself on such a moral high ground. Chin Gu had a feeling that he was lying, but there were some truths in it. As the door grew stronger, more people and specters entered, and she was one of them. The doll finally reached the place where Chin Gu was interested in. The door pusher and I never harmed her, and she initially appeared to be quite harmless. But later we found out that was just a disguise. After she entered the school, the outsiders and specters from the school started to mysteriously disappear. The door pusher and I suspected that they had been consumed. The school behind the door became different after that. After some investigation, we realized that the killer was that woman. Chen Gu did not fully trust what the doll said. He was not one to believe others so easily. The door pusher found out that Zhang Ye was the killer, but in the end, the door pusher was killed by Zhang Ye. Don't you find that ironic? The woman has consumed many specters, including red specters. The door pusher was not a match for her. You are lying. Chen Gu held the doll's legs and looked into its eyes. After pushing open the door, the door pusher's power will at least double. As long as he did not leave this scenario, he wouldn't lose to Zhang Ye. Chen Gu had experience with this and knew the difference in power between red specters. When he first met Zhang Ye, she had already consumed a door pusher, a feat that was nigh on impossible. But it was she who killed the door pusher. Perhaps I have missed some details since it has been so long. If you can't remember clearly, don't start spinning tales. You have to pay for your lies. Chen Gu gripped the legs and pulled, but he could not hurt the man. Su Yin, help me break one of his legs. Su Yin reached out his pale hand. Before the doll could write anything, he grabbed the doll's body and yanked one leg off. It was just a doll, but blood leaked out from the wounds. The doll's eyes bulged with redness. Su Yin tossed the broken leg aside and retreated silently. Actually, Chin Gu did not expect Su Yin to be so ruthless. He only wanted to break the leg, not tear it completely away from the body. Of course, he would not say that to anyone. With a smile on his face, he neared the doll. Now, can you think clearer? If not, I can help you. The doll struggled on the ground, but other than his eyes and fingers, he could not move the rest of his body. So, he crumbled. I am telling you the truth. It was the door pusher who consumed the specters and outsiders that came to the school, there was an accident when he was hunting the woman. They entered a blood-red city. In the end, the door pusher died in that city, but the woman returned. 
In other words, the reason Zhang Ye could kill the door pusher is because of that red city, meaning her secret is hidden inside the city? Chen Gu looked at the doll who had learned his lesson. Yes, she found something in the city. She knows a path that leads to the center of the city. Chapter 878, Only Weakness, Path That Leads to the Center of the City? Zhang Ye has been there before? Chen Gu looked at the bloody words on the doll and narrowed his eyes. In his mind, the city was very dangerous, even more dangerous than the Forbidden Zones, so he did not expect Zhang Ye to have already been there. Yes, she knew the path from the beginning. When the door pusher pursued her, she ran out of the school. The doll did not sound like he was lying, but Chen Gu did not feel like fully trusting him yet. The door pusher has complete control over the door that he pushed, he knew about every corner of this place because the whole scenario is built upon the basis of his memory. Chen Gu pulled on the doll's other leg. Are you lying to me? No. The color of the blood on the doll deepened. He was really afraid of Chen Gu. Every half-red specter or ghosts that have the potential to become a red specter have a special power. Do you know what that woman's special power is? Stop changing the topic. Chen Gu did not know what Zhang Ye's special power was because she had too many special powers. I don't know the details of her power, but from the door pusher, I found out that she can obtain other specters' powers through some means. The doll statement confirmed some of Chen Ji's previous suspicions. This is the scariest and most special power I've seen, so even now, no one knows what she can do because she possesses too many powers. Reading the words on the doll's body, Chen Gu did not react instantly. Zhang Ye was the only specter that possessed her own special page in the black phone. Initially, Chen Gu had thought that every red specter would have that, but after Su Yin evolved into a red specter, Chen Gu had realized that things were not that simple. Su Yin, who was already quite strong among red specters, only had his name turn red in the black phone, and the introduction added the identity of red specter to his name. Zhang Ye is unique even among red specters, that is confirmed by the black phone. Chen Ge thought back to Zhang Ye's fight with the shadow in Liwan City. The shadow had listed several of Zhang Ye's powers at once, and coincidentally, he had seen other specters use those powers before. There should be a real limitation to her power, and that should be her only weakness. Chen Ge grumbled to himself before picking up the doll. I don't need you to explain how scary Zhang Ye is, rescuing you is making her my enemy. Why would I anger a powerful greater red specter for someone who I don't really know? The words on the doll had not changed for a long time. Chen Ji's tone changed as he leaned closer to the doll so that his words could only be heard by the two of them. Unless you tell me her weakness so that I have a chance of winning against her. Chen Ji's voice was like a demon's whisper. He was probably the first living person to trick a specter. You have no other choice. Either tell me everything, or I'll hand you over to Zhang Ye myself. The doll's red eyes stared at Chen Go like he was considering whether to trust him. I have limited time. If you can't agree with me, there's no need for me to take the risk for you. Her weakness is her heart, I overheard something from the door pusher. Every red specter has their own heart. It is made from their obsession. It is the key for them to become a red specter and their weakest spot. The doll did not realize that the way Chen Gu looked at him had slowly changed. To kill that woman is not easy unless you ruin her heart. The door pusher thought that her obsession was the people who once hurt her at the school, but that was not the case. When he changed his mind, the woman noticed it and hid her heart. Hid her heart? The heart can be hidden? Chen Gu remembered what the doll said clearly. If he encountered the other world under the black phone's guidance, what the doll had said now could help him understand it further. The red specter's heart is formed from some obsession. If she placed that obsession on some place or someone, if nothing happens to that person, no matter how seriously injured she is, she will not disappear. The blood vessels on the doll wavered. After he left the room, the limitation on him was slowly weakening. Do you have any clues about that after the door pusher has done so much investigation? Chenga asked casually. 
there are two possibilities. First, she hid her heart deep inside the Red City, but the chances of that are not great because the city is very dangerous, too dangerous for her to predict. The second possibility is that she has placed her heart somewhere outside the door. The place could be a person or an object. The words stop there. He reserved a secret for himself. If he told Chinga everything, there was no guarantee to his safety. Actually, when the doll mentioned an object, something crossed Chin Ji's mind, Zhang Ye's love letter. Zhang Ye had placed her heart in the love letter. In Liwan City, Chin Gu had torn the letter and had Zhang Ye move into his shadow. Being each other's companion forever was not just a phrase of speech, Zhang Ye's new sanctuary was Chin Ji's shadow. Thus, based on what the doll had said, Chin Gu was Zhang Ye's weakness. Take me with you, and I'll tell you everything. The doll's eyes were bloodshot. You have her presence on you, so she will not let you go. She will stick to you forever. Only I can help you. Let me think about it. Chin Gu smiled and looked at the doll's face. He was thinking about how to make a specter disappear completely, without leaving a trace in the world. She might come back at any moment. Please, make it quick. Okay, I will give you an answer as soon as I can. Before that, I'd better bring you with me. Now Chin Gu had another thing important to him, the doll. He had given it much consideration and decided to hand the doll to Zhang Ye. The girl should have a better way to deal with him. After all, she had literally made him this way. Before Zhang Ye awakened, he could keep the doll safe. He picked up the backpack, had Su Ying carry the doll, and walked out of the female dormitory. Chapter 879, Headmaster's Office After dealing with the doll, no one would know Zhang Ye's weakness, and a weakness no one knew about was not a weakness. Walking out from the female dormitory, Chingun noticed a lot of changes to the school of the afterlife. The red fog mixed together with the black malice. If there was hell on earth, this was probably it. The visibility has lowered again. Whenever I breathe, there is this horrible stench, like I am choking on blood. Chin Gu had stayed too long behind the door, his body could not support him any much longer. More blood vessels stuck to his skin. If this continued, he worried that he would be assimilated by the door and stuck behind it forever. I need to hurry. At most, I can stay for one night. Chin Gu waved his arms about trying to shake away the resentment and negative emotions that formed the vessels, but it was not much use. The scary thing was that part of them had crawled under his skin. From afar, they looked like small wounds on his arms. Walking in the red fog and black malice, the number of students that followed behind Chin Gu grew. Where is Mr. Lei? Didn't he say I would not walk of there alive? The outside of the school was seriously damaged, so Mr. Lei had to leave. One of the female teachers were shocked to see Chingu alive. Walking out of the forbidden zone alive is nothing to be proud of. In contrast, you have made such a huge scene, you'll only get targeted more by the school's consciousness. Everything you say revolves around the school's consciousness, but how can you know it is always right? Chingu rubbed the blood on his arms. He realized that he could not rub it off, so he left it be. I know I can't argue with you. The school's consciousness might not be right. But the consciousness is the collection of most of the students. Here, they are the real owner. The teacher sound helpless. As a member of staff, even though the students referred to her as a teacher, in reality, she was greatly limited. She was more like a low-level administrator hired by the school's consciousness. The world behind the door belongs to the door pusher. Whoever pushed open the door, the door will listen to them, Chinga said. Unless someone killed the door pusher, in that case, it will listen to them. You're mad. The teacher moved closer to the other teachers. She did not want to stay too close to Chingu. After I leave, you'd better seal up this place. Even though it does not have what I'm looking for, it is still very dangerous. It won't be good if a student accidentally wanders in. We don't need you to teach us what to do. Chingu led the others to the center of the school. 
He had gained more student followers, but the number was not enough. He needed to gain more approval to have them trust in him. I need to gain more student support before Chang Wenyu and the painter know what I'm doing. Because they both believed he was harmless, the two had been ignoring him. If they found out Chen Ji's real aim was for the old headmaster to take over the school, they would definitely come for him. Chen Gu, where are we going now? In Hong's impression of Chen Gu had greatly changed. She now hesitated when she called his full name. The students are mostly gathered at the center of the school. We will go there. Other than that, isn't there a forbidden zone related to the headmaster? I heard the headmaster's office is at the center. We will go there as well. Chen Gu had everything planned. He had limited time. He could not explore all 13 forbidden zones, so he only focused on the key ones. The headmaster's office and the fourth floor of the female dormitory are the most dangerous forbidden zones. You just came out from the female dormitory, so don't you want to rest first? We have no time. Chen Gu and Su Yin walked at the front. He leaned closer to the doll on Su Yin's shoulders to whisper, It's time for you to prove yourself. The doll's red eyes rolled about. He instinctually wanted to lean away from Chen Gu. Actually, he was forced to have Chen Gu bring him out of the female dormitory. After leaving that place, he had a chance to escape. Didn't you say that you were the school's first headmaster? Tell me the headmaster's office's location. I need something that can prove your identity. If there was enough time, Chen Gu would visit all the forbidden zones and recreate the 13 zones at his own haunted house. Too much time has gone, and many things have happened. This school has changed too much. It might be difficult for you to get to the headmaster's office now. The blood crawled out from the wound near its chest to form those words. You are not willing to show the way? Chen Gu grabbed the doll's only leg. Or are you not even the headmaster at all and were lying to me? I will take you there. The doll's eyes bulged. There are two offices. One is the headmaster's office from Western Zhejiang Private Academy. It's on the top floor. There's nothing there, just an empty shell. The other headmaster's office was the door pusher's living space. He liked to hide there to spy on the lives of the other specters and monsters. The door pusher once lived there? Yes, this room is hidden, and very few people know about it. Take me there. Chen Gu could barely hold in the anticipation. Under his many urges, the doll led him to the center of the school. This is it. The doll used his remaining movable finger to point at the sign before them. There are many hidden rooms in this school, and every room has its secrets. If you promise to get me out of here, I can tell you the location of all the hidden rooms. Chen Gu stopped before the board. The wall was filled with various reports and self-criticism. It came with many students' pictures. This was not a hall of fame, but a hall of shame. All the ugliness of the school was portrayed there. You'll see the room after you pull away all the reports. Okay. Chen Gu signaled for the students behind him to move, but no one dared step forward. He even saw the picture of one of the students before him. The child looked at his own picture and stood frozen. What are you afraid of? You'll be punished if you make a mistake, that is the school's rule. If we tear down these reports, we'll be going against the school's consciousness, Han Song said softly. No wonder no one has ever found this room. Chen Gu heard that and looked out the window. The red eye appeared to be pressing down on them. However, the eye appeared to be under great pressure, it was filled with pulsing blood vessels. Criticism is to improve, not humiliate. Chen Gu pulled down the first report. Make a move on. Stop hesitating. With him and his employees leading the way, more students slowly joined. The layers of the reports had accumulated over many years. They kept pulling for a long time before the bloodied wall showed. The wall under the reports and pictures was like a bruised skill. There were cracks everywhere, and they were leaking blood. The entrance is on the left side. The wall was originally only one meter wide. 
it absorbed resentment and then continued to grow. Chinga kept searching on the wall, before locating the door that appeared to have melted into the wall. This is the door pusher's room? Shoving the door open, Chinga looked inside. The whole room was filled with mirrors of varying kinds. Chapter 880, Sudden Change At the school of the afterlife, mirrors had a special meaning, each mirror represented a person and hid a memory. The scene before him shocked Chen Gu. He had been at the school for so long and had not seen much mirrors. It turned out that all of them had been hidden there. Mirrors represent memories, and memories hide one's secrets. The door pusher has been spying on everyone's past. The door had the same color as the wall, they practically were one and the same. With the reports covering the outer wall, after the death of the door pusher, no one would expect such a room to exist behind the wall of shame. This door pusher had a unique hobby. The despair behind the door twisted him, or he gave up on himself and opened his arms to embrace the abyss. Chingu was curious about every door pusher, and the school of the afterlife's door pusher was the only dead door pusher, so he was worth studying. Keep close to me. Chingu dragged Suin into the hidden room. I'm not lying to you. This is the headmaster's office that you wished to come to. The door pusher is the school's owner, and this room is the most hidden room in the school. The doll argued for his innocence, but Chin Ji's attention was distracted by the things inside the room. He did not notice the doll's change. The room was not big. It had no windows, and the only point of connection to the outside world was the door. This is the most suffocating room I've ever been in. Bai Chilin carried the mirror, but he did not follow Chin Gu. He only took a glance and shook his head. Trapping oneself inside a room filled with mirrors, looking at one's reflection always, even a specter would rarely decide to do something like that. Don't underestimate these mirrors. Chin Gu picked up the broken mirrors on the ground carefully. He held the piece before his eyes, but the reflection was not his own. The mirror was empty, it looked strange and rather pitiful. The school of the afterlife is different from other scenarios, and one of the reasons is the existence of these mirrors. Regardless, the secret behind them should be found in this room. There was barely anywhere to stand in the room, the mirrors and their pieces overlapped over each other, reflecting one another. It was like the school's consciousness above their head, everyone's memory and consciousness overlapping together. I've led you to the headmaster's office, so that should prove to you my sincerity. The doll pulled on Chin Ji's clothes to have Chin Gu look at him. Hmm. That was Chin Ji's only reply. He was attracted by one of the mirrors in the corner of the room. Most of the mirrors in the room were broken, with irregular edges and blood or stain on their surfaces, but the mirror at the edge was perfectly preserved. It gave off a faded red light, and blood streamed down its surface like something was trying to come out. Whose mirror could this be? From the appearance, it looks like a girl's mirror. Could it be Chong Wenyu's? Chin Gu was suddenly reminded of a problem. If there was a mirror that corresponded to every student in the school, was it possible that Zhang Ye's mirror was there as well? Shaking his head, Chin Gu pushed this thought out of his mind. Zhang Ye had already killed the door pusher, so why would she leave her mirror behind? With that in mind, Chin Ji's curiosity grew. Suin, go and get that mirror. Chin Gu caught the doll, afraid that this was part of his conspiracy. So, to be careful, he would not have the doll have any contact with anything in the room. Listening to Chin Ji's order, Suin walked to the corner, but once he stepped on the mirrors on the ground, all the mirrors started to bleed. Cracks formed, and the mirrors were like mouths that opened up to consume Suin. Come back! Chin Gu yelled. Once Suin stopped, the mirrors in the room slowly returned to normal. Chin Gu felt a tug on his shirt, he turned back to see a new line had appeared on the doll. Once you touch the mirrors, the school's consciousness will target you. What happened earlier was a warning. I can only look at them but not touch them. Not really. The warning should only work on red specters. 
If it's just a normal lingering spirit, the reaction won't be so intense. What if it's a living person? Chinga returned the doll to Suin. The door pusher and the school's consciousness would not have expected a living person to enter this room. When I picked up a broken mirror earlier, it did not react at all. I have no clue. Chinga stopped asking for the doll's opinion. With a careful step, he moved into the room. Like he expected, nothing changed. Suin, guard right there, and don't move. Moving slowly forward, Chingu was stepping on the pile of broken mirrors. Sorry for the offense. Every mirror held a memory, so Chingu apologized in advance to make himself feel better. Lowering his head to look, this place was like a mirror cemetery. Only the mirror in the corner has blood flowing on its surface. Whose mirror could it be? Chingu already possessed the painter's mirror, but that information came from a non-smiler so it could not be trusted fully. Chen Gu could trip easily from the pieces underneath his feet. Being injured was a small thing, Chen Gu did not wish to break the mirrors. He slowly moved his body, and it took him a minute to reach the corner. He squatted down to study the mirror before him. This mirror was different from the others. When he saw the mirror, more blood appeared on the surface like this was not a mirror but a beating heart. There is something inside the mirror. Chingu used his inyang vision and realized that the mirror, covered in blood, was reflecting the room that he was in. Inside the enclosed place littered with broken mirrors, a man in a red shirt was squatting in the corner looking at a girl's mirror with extreme focus. Wait a minute. This scene is similar to what? Chingu prepared to retreat when the man in the corner suddenly turned around. The man looked 80% like Chingu. And the scary thing was that his facial features were still changing, becoming more and more like Chen Ji's. A scapegoat? Chen Gu was still moving back when the man in the mirror screamed. He pulled madly at his face until he dug pieces of flesh out like the face represented extreme tragedy. As the man in the mirror went mad, a loud voice came from outside the corridor. Then Chen Gu heard the old headmaster. Chen Gu. Something is wrong with the school's consciousness. The eye is bleeding. Can support us, completed novel house in link below clip. Thank you for come in and love the sharing story.